Top five, top five, top five. Yeah, girl. You ready to do this? You ready to count this thing down? We're doing the top five, huh? Yeah, I set it off with one, two, Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ranked Top 5 List of Stuff That Don't Matter. I'm your witchy host today, Tong La, and I have a cauldron full of Eye of Newt and Frog Legs and Bat Wings and Old Man's Toe. Okay. <laughs> a specific hair and blood of their victims. Okay, yeah. Salamander tail. That's it. I have a very exciting episode for you all today. I know Halloween, as of this recording, or when this episode comes out, it will be technically over, be over by like a week, but it's still spooky season in our hearts. So we're going to continue with the spooky feels for the, today's episode, and I'm going to introduce my first guest today, who has flown all the way here for this podcast, so I've been told, all so which we're talking about Simone Gory. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Simone Gory. Yes. But you know, I gotta witchify your name. Catch me on a bad day. It might be a bit gory. Okay. That's correct. I was trying to think of like some fun, scary puns in your name, and I can only think of Sabone Gory. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put bone in your name. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Thanks. Simone, how are you doing? I am doing all right. I've noticed that um, since we decided to do a witch podcast, I think I've put a curse on my family. Yeah, you said that when you walked in, and I'm like, you got to save it. Yeah. So do you want to tell us now? Or? I mean, sure. So I, I was in Toronto earlier today, and I, I hopped on an early morning train to get back home, and it seems as though someone walked onto the tracks, and so we had to stop the train for like, an hour, which is horrific and not because of the time delay, but because my heart hurt for said individual. And then my poor mother, who is in her 60s, took a very hard tumble on the pavement today. She's doing all right. She's home and she's resting. And then my brother was driving back from a bachelor party and his truck broke down on the middle of the highway in Mississauga. And then the worst thing of all is my sweet baby puppy has a tummy ache. Oh, that's the worst out of all of them. It's so <laughs> sad. It's so sad. It's been like a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Wow. And now we're ending it with a more witchy thing, so... Maybe that's why the bad things happened, because yeah. we didn't record this podcast in advance, but we had to wait until, like, the dead of night yeah. when it's spooky to record this. Maybe. Wow. Okay. Hopefully this podcast will turn it all around, Simone. Do you want to introduce the next guest beside you? I, of course, would love to. You gotta to give them a spooky this. name, though. Oh, don't worry. It's already <laughs> brewing. Um, okay, so the person to my left is, of course, the only person I would love to have in my coven. It's Boudin! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's me, Boudin. Boudin? Do you have a last name for Boudin? <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't spookify it. So. <laughs> it's a hard one to spookify. That is a hard one. Yeah. Etienne? Etienne. 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 Etienne tomorrow. Etienne, 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 end, of Etienne end of life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go with that. Brayden, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Are you <laughs> having a spooky day? <laughs> if pleasant... Warm walks in the woods with your dog is scary. Ooh. 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 Gillichen. Oh, God, that's good. I was cleaning my car. It is very rusty. Yeah. Ooh. Is that spooky? Brayden actually drove us on the way here, and it was making <laughs> it was making a weird noise that it felt like the car was going to fall apart at yeah. any moment. It was just the tape flapping from my rear view mirror. Yeah. Don't if worry. Anyone's, if anyone's getting a picture of my car, it's very spooky. Don't it's worry, weird. guys. It's just the tape. <laughs> that's holding <laughs> Brayden's windows together. Yeah. Yes. Brayden, do you want to introduce the last final member of this coven? Yes, I uh, I envy this person for their witchy knowledge. And I mean this uh, with the highest regard, witchy vibe even sometimes. Mm. It is Haley Kellett or Scaly. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it. 
I will kill you with my amphibian skin. <laughs> yes, it's me, Scaly Gillen. <laughs> I said you were probably Gillen. the best name we've come up that's with. Good. That's, that's really good. good. That's good. I'll, that's I'll state good. all of my handles all across yeah. social media. <laughs> Scaly Kill It. Scaly Kill It. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm. I'm. We're in my house. I lit some incense called Guidance for the podcast. My two familiars are here with me, Romulus and Flick. Oh, yeah. So you might hear some cat noises in the background, but we want it yeah. to happen. Yeah, yeah. Meow? Are you going to meow back? <laughs> meow, meow. Meow. Meow, meow. No, he's just, they're chilling. Yeah, they're just having a good time. Yeah, looking out into the abyss. And we're about to have a great time because we're going to talk about witches today, everyone. Top five witches. Now, some of you at home are going to be like, well, Tongue, back in episode 40-something, you did a top five wizards episodes. Completely different. Yeah, this is very witches. Different. Yeah, Absolutely come on, different. severed tongue. Ha, 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 ha. I love that. <laughs> that should also go in the cauldron. <laughs> yeah, no, today we're going to focus primarily on witches. I gave you guys a huge list of a bunch of different topics, and you all were very keen on witches. So let's hear it. Why witches? I mean, witches are powerful, present in the past and currently. Mm-hmm. I feel drawn to this community and right now I'm on a witch kick. I went through a vampire kick Mm. where I was like, all right, bring back the Anne Rice books. Let's go. I actually watched Twilight and now I need a birthday cake covered in edible glitter that says this is the skin of a killer, Bella. (laughs) I need one. (laughs) But now I'm into I'm I'm very much enjoying listening to stories about witches and reading the folklore. Oh fun. Mm -hmm. Oh your nominations are gonna be crazy. Mm, I can I can tell already. We'll see. Uh, I can tell Uh, (laughs) Simone you were really also drawn to witches as well. Yeah, they're just like misunderstood, man. And I feel like witches for the longest time have been just it's often like I guess in the real real witches if you will are usually women who don't have children, are older, are hard to tame, and the men in charge are like I banish thee to the forest outside of the village and you will be an old ugly hag and every it's, time. Yeah, and it's just like no and they find their coven and they're together and it's powerful women and sometimes they kill men but often they kill men. But they kind of deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> but they do yeah. and if I'm going to be on anybody's side it's the witches all side. right fair enough brayden witches thoughts yes man here uh <laughs> <laughs> man about to be killed here yes uh <laughs> I echo everything that has already been said about witches. I think there's a fascinating history to witches as well that we, you know, can look back on. Salem Witch Trials, it's very tied to feminism and those movements as well. So there's always a lot to glean socially from witches that I always find fascinating. Totally. And I think that's what's going to make today's list a lot different than our Top 5 Wizards episode, where the Wizards episode, we also included witches for that one. It was really kind of muddy, (laughs) our rules for that one. (laughs) We're clear today. They kind of always are a little Mm. muddy, but it was like, usually it was like magic users get to be part of the wizards group where witches have their own specific thing about them that make them witches. Like I was reading today about the differences between witches and sorceresses. And that seems like a little bit beyond my knowledge, but it sounds like to me, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, but witches like have like an innate power like kind of i'm not gonna say evil but it usually comes from like darkness there is this what my understanding with witches is there is an organic genetic yeah uh, Mm -hmm. just power that you have coupled with study and wanting to learn and and practice magic where i think sorcerers are exclusively and please internet don't yell at me (laughs) (laughs) they will i think i think sorcerers are all about study and learning where witches are born with okay we're on the same page that's exactly what i read on it too Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. that's who we're talking about today let's talk about some ground rules then i mean if someone says a sorceress i guess on this podcast (laughs) i'm not gonna say anything about that i get get, you can back it up if you can back it up yeah but if you can back it up i'm down but you know what Men aren't witches, for, so no yeah, men. Like, <laughs> bye bye, boys. <laughs> it's a no boys club no uh, for boys today's club nominations. Then. What other ground rules do we want to go through today? Well, I feel like witches can either be from like the TV show, television. That's the same thing. Movie <laughs> realm, folklore, mm-hmm. or real life 
Yeah. Yeah. Historical I'm down, witch. I'm down with fictional and non fictional witches. Yeah. That's a great way to sum up the rant I just said. <laughs> yeah. Real ones. You know, TV, ones. television, <laughs> Netflix, broadcasting, <laughs> <laughs> video games. Yes. Yes. All those also. things. Mm-hmm. Uh, comics. It's all those things. Yeah. But I think that was a fascinating thing because when you posted that in the chat, Simone, you're like, are non fictional witches allowed or, mm. or what? Real witches is what the, the word you use. And I, I didn't even consider real witches. Yeah, real witch. Any witch. Mm-hmm. If it's a witch, it's it's allowed. It'll be fun to... Which witch? Which witch is witch? <laughs> It'll be fun to pit like a, a real witch versus like a fictional witch and just oh, see what happens. Are we going to also play Super Fight Witch Edition on this podcast? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> now we are. Maybe. I will just say if it is a real witch, we're not going to say it's like my aunt dressed up as a witch for Halloween and she... Thinks she's a witch only on Halloween. I don't know. If you can back it up. If if you can show me why she's a witch, if she's practicing Wicca, like all these different reasons. But I do like the idea of like, my mom has a hat not being okay. (laughs) Yeah, none of that. But also I think if you have a real life witch versus a fake made up witch, Mm -hmm. in this scenario, those two may duel. And it's not like, well, mine's real. Yeah. And yours is written. <laughs> Mine is sure. made of flesh and bone, and the other witches go, magic? Yes. Yeah. We can all fight. Oh, we another one fight. is that I think some witches can be grouped together if they make sense to be grouped together. Yes. yes. It is a classic thing that witches come in groups of three. You can see this mm-hmm. throughout history, fiction, everywhere. There are groups. Yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely certain fine. There's going to be a, mm-hmm. a trio in here that. Oh, it's a trope. It's, yeah. For it's witches. It's going to be in here. Yes. And that's fine. Yes. Because they only work as a trio. They would count as one. They count as Mm -hmm. one. So many examples of groups of three. I'm curious, like, maybe this is a conversation down the line, but as we're ranking them, are we looking at, like, the power these witches hold? Who's the most powerful witch? Who is the most kind of outside the box, unique kind of witch? I mean, it's all part of the arguments Um, that we'll have. I think it might be, like... A hodgepodge of that. Like, I think mm-hmm. there might be our final list with, like, maybe someone who's more powerful but is lacking in some area, and mm. then the other areas mm. might make it this up. This is, I'm already very excited you know? about this podcast. Psyched. I feel like we should be doing this in the dark. Oh my, I, can, I can turn the lights off. But then I can't see your faces. Well, I can turn my lamp on and turn my Whoa. overhead lights off, but my headphones are plugged in and I can't get up. Uh, so. <laughs> If only we had our witchy powers to turn all these lights off. Zap. Should we just get into it then? I think today's episode will be a lot different than our fish episode yeah. that we did. <laughs> and uh, I'm playing a secret game throughout this podcast. Okay. Uh, I just want to test a theory that I will reveal at the end because I learned a fun fact about witches and I want to see how often it happens. I'm excited about this. All right. All right. Let's just get into it then. Mm -hmm. Just like every episode of Ranked, we're going to go around three times, nominating three nominations, each making a master list of 12 and whittling that down to a top five witches list. Here we go. First witch. It's going to be an easy one. I'm I'm going to start off off strong, but easy. But I think she deserves to be on this list. I am talking about a certain sea witch <laughs> uh, who has stolen the voice of a mermaid. She is a frightening octopus-like creature. <laughs> We're talking about Ursula, the sea witch from Little Mermaid. Yeah, a, a Cassalia. Is, is that what it is? Half octopus, half human, I think. C C E C A E L I A. She is so cool. I, I think she's, mm-hmm. well, she's also frightening. I was very scared of her as, as a child. And she dies very violently in The Little Mermaid. She gets, like, <gasps> Prince Eric literally stabs her with a boat. And then she, like, dies. But it's super epic because she what? turns into, a, like, a, the giant version of herself. She's it's like awesome. Oh, she, like, turns full kaiju at the end of yeah. the movie. She's one of my top villains of all time. Oh, that's a whole... That's another podcast. That's another podcast. Yeah. Uh, Ursula, Simone, you look jaw dropped. Well, I don't think I knew that it ended that violently in (laughs) The Little Mermaid. Go back and watch it. It is a thunderstorm nightmare scene. Yeah. Very haunting. Oh my goodness. I'm not super familiar with Ursula. Do you mind giving us a run through of maybe her powers or, or what magic she shows? Well, she's very manipulative. She has... A lot of powers that I would say are not completely defined, Mm -hmm. Uh, but one of the things that she does do is steal the voice of Ariel. Mm -hmm. She transforms herself into a version of Ariel so that she can end up with Prince Eric. And then eventually she gets found out and, you know, she, she does eventually die and stuff like that. But she does. Her whole plan is to also, like, steal the trident 
from King Trident mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and kind of be the ruler of it all. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Ursula the Sea Witch in the Disney movie, the characterization is modeled off the drag queen Divine? I what? didn't know that. Yeah, like so that. modeled off the drag queen Divine. And originally, in the Hans Christian Andersen story, she's not evil. She's oh. a neutral <laughs> witch that just like wants to, she's a, a neutral body that helps people. Yeah, doesn't she doesn't always do that cause in evil. Film. No, they no. they made her quite 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 nuts. evil, <laughs> and she has two electric eels. That... More eels. More eels. Yeah, they're more dangerous. Flotsam and jot. J- you know Jutsum? how I feel about eels. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to end on that one. So Simone's fish, like, fish, oh, fish, fish. Ursula, I'm yeah. In now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's quite evil, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we will all have a lot to say about her later. Simone, what's your first nomination? Okay, for my first nomination, I want to pick one that I think is going to get snatched up fast, possibly. And that is one who is from medieval times. This is a folklore uh, who's been in in many different movies and video games. This is Baba Yaga. (gasps) I love that you picked Baba Yaga. The creepiest headquarters for any witch, for sure. Oh, yeah. So the headquarters in question, uh, it's (laughs) a cabin on chicken legs that continues to spin until she says a phrase. Do you know the phrase? I don't know the phrase. I don't know the phrase. I don't know But the it's phrase. supposed to emulate like a mortal and pestle, right? Like so she's that's grinding what, up the spices of the bones of the, the dead. That's what she flies on. Yes. So instead of a broom, <laughs> Baba Yaga will come to you within the mortar and sweeping with the pestle. <laughs> and it's a hilarious image of someone flying in on a bowl, which is a lot less intimidating than a broom for some reason, like a yeah. fun guacamole witch. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what they were going for in these Slavic yes. fairy tales, yes. is a fun guacamole witch. <laughs> yes, well, it's actually, I think, because like Slavic women would use it to do a lot of their chores, mm-hmm. and so I think that's why she rides it, but in my head, it's party time every time yeah. Baba Yaga comes. Yeah. Baba Yaga is so amazing, and and is like genuinely one of these classic mm-hmm. witches that keep showing up. She's her own category. There's no other witch quite like Baba Yaga, yeah. but also is kind of this. There's like the hag tropes that exist, right? But yeah. she's also got this heart to her. So like mm-hmm. a lot of the stories, like I'll tell you one little story. Um, <laughs> uh, let me tell you a little tiny, tiny little witchy story. So Baba Yaga basically is known to be like a of the underworld, but also the heavens, like ruler of elements associated with like like strong winds and also the devil. And so she's got like around her spinning chicken leg cabin is like human bones. People are like, ooh, maybe cannibal. But basically there was this father who sent his daughter as a servant to Baba Yaga. And Baba Yaga was like, do all of these chores. So she did all these chores with little mice. It was very Cinderella-esque. And then Baba Yaga just rewarded her with like a bunch of wealth and she became very mm-hmm. rich. And then the evil stepmother came and saw that the servant stepdaughter was very rich and wealthy and she went and murdered the mice <laughs> that mm-hmm. helped her and didn't do all of her chores. So Baba Yaga snapped her into a bunch of pieces and put her in a box. So, and oh, man. Her. so she does have some heart and there's like a few other stories of that where like the servant comes and does very well, does all of her chores and all of that thing and then like two more evil stepsisters come and she was looking for light and they gave her a light with a, it was like a skull with burning fire eyes. Yes. Oh, that's creepy. And they brought it back and the two evil stepsisters were like, oh, you got light, thank you so much. And then the one good servant daughter was like yeah here's my skull light and then the fire came out of the eyes and incinerated the evil stepsisters but not the good one Mm, so Baba so. Yaga was the one who gave that thing? Yeah, yeah, Baba Yaga gave the light. So she has a heart. It's so just a little violent a the way she handles it. Yeah, like a very <sighs> aggressive Peter Pan nurse. <laughs> Not Peter Pan. Who's the good one? Robin Hood. Robin Hood? <laughs> Peter Pan's also I mean, Peter Pan's Pan's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> is he? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, actually, is Peter Pan like chaotic neutral? <laughs> yeah, you know. Like, yeah, I guess a little bit. But Robin yeah. Hood's like the stealing and the giving yeah, witches yeah, yeah, and you yeah, know yeah. That, that vibe. Yeah, yeah. this but, is a classic <laughs> tale of misunderstanding witches right exactly yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do like a good neutral witch like you were saying about Ursula mm-hmm. like I think when they live in that zone of they can use their powers for good or evil it depends on who's coming for mm-hmm. them who's asking yeah I like that neutrality mm-hmm. great pick mm-hmm. thank you thank yeah. you so great, much great great yeah. pick thank Brayden you. Oh boy, here we go. What do you what do you got? First nomination, first witch. Well, it was interesting you brought up sorceress's witch debate because the first witch I want to bring up is, is a sorceress is a humanoid sorceress from space. 
What? What? And Who is it? Her name is Rita Repulsa? Oh, yeah, I would count her. She's uh, totally witch yeah, energy. Uh, <laughs> if you're not familiar with Rita Repulsa, she is the main antagonist in the Power Rangers franchise. Oh, yeah. Uh, Heck uh, yes. So, about 10,000 years ago, <laughs> yeah, okay. Zordon, uh, who is the leader of the Power Rangers, imprisoned her in a space dumpster. <laughs> And she lived for 10,000 years in the space dumpster That's until she... <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And she uh, crashed on the moon uh, where she established a base and yep. declared war against Zordon. Zordon yeah. rallied together a bunch of teenagers who became the power Teenagers Rangers. with attitude. Yeah. Oh, big That's attitude. What, yeah. So she's, you know, like her trademark power is <laughs> she stands on the moon and when her, the evil monsters that she makes with her friend Finster aren't doing well, she'll make them giant. Yeah, it's the, a classic the, the, the bad kaiju. Yes, yeah, the kaiju exactly. move, yeah. Wow. But I did some math, and when she makes them giant, she goes, make my monster grow! And she throws her sphere, or her uh, scepter? Whatever, her staff yeah, thing. She, wait, has a sta her she throws it. From the moon. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. To the <gasps> earth. Yeah. And to directly to like that monster. To the, no, not even to the monster, to the exact same spot of dirt <laughs> every time. Because I think the that producers just use the same oh, B yeah. roll every time. It's a very uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. But I did the math. In order to launch a scepter, it takes about three seconds for that scepter to get from the moon to earth. That scepter needs to be traveling at one third the speed of light. Oh. So just with her arm, just her in her body, like not even magic, she's already you know capable of this. Wow, um, that's terrifying. So she should have been a football player. Yes, <laughs> she should have been a football player. Maybe used her powers for good. But she also was the creator of the Green Ranger, who was the evil Power Ranger who defeated all five Power Rangers. Tommy, and, yeah, yeah, Tommy. She has an army of putties that she sticks on the Power Rangers. Also, by the end of the series, and I just wikipedia this, but she becomes the mystic mother. So while she is a very evil mean? witch, by the end of the episode, she has a redemption arc. She becomes the biggest force of good yes. in all of the Oh, universe. I don't even... I watch so much Power Rangers, I don't yeah. remember that. This is another classic witch story arc of, yes. of transitioning from good to evil or mm. vice versa. Yes. Power Rangers. She also bangs uh, one. <laughs> hang on, Lord me, Zed. Lord Zed. Referring to Lord Zed. <laughs> Lord she, Zed. But she was very intentional. She made a love potion in order to become married to Lord Zed so that she could usurp him. That yeah. was her plan. Yeah. But then she ended up falling in love with Lord Zed. That's not very good for the anti-patriarchy kind of lens I think we're going for. No, no, no. With, uh, of course, of course. Uh, with Rita, yeah. but she's very powerful. She's very cool. Just this is a really left turn uh, nomination. I yeah. think she she counts as a witch. I, I would say so. I think she's more witch than sorceress. Well, I mean, having never seen Power Rangers, <laughs> I think that's a witch. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm, that's a witch. <laughs> my witch thinks is Here's a, a new segment like uh, where it. someone goes, that's a witch. <laughs> yeah. That's a witch. That's a witch. She, <laughs> she sounds like a witch. She talks like a witch. She acts like oh, a witch. Oh, we gotta show Simone a picture of this. She has an oh. amazing costume. Yeah, she's yeah a, I yeah, think here. I did come across this in a little googly goo, yeah. but... Wow. Yeah, yeah. Look she at wears that. like this amazing headdress. And a mean smoky eye. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> also, one of the greatest justifications. In season one, she was played by a different actress. And in season two, she did a spell on herself to make herself, I think it was like 10,000 years younger. So a new actress who was younger. Smart. Her, <laughs> smart. Uh, and looked in the mirror, and then they transitioned the actor. Oh, but, yeah. Magic mirrors. There's so many connections yeah, with, with yeah, this yeah. Power Rangers witch to like Grimhild, which I love. Yes. Mm. And yeah, right. she just had a random assortment of power she can do pretty much everything yeah do it all she can That's do it awesome. all and she's yes. from space and she's from space, space and rich. elizabeth banks plays her in the in the reboot oh yes i didn't even mention that yeah. in the reboot she yeah. it's eats gold and it's very wow. strong yeah, it's a weird thing uh, yeah. 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 Turn, but wow, wow. Yeah. i want to so. eat gold yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my Kaylee, gosh first right. witch it is the number one witch i'm telling you right now it's hecate Oh, Hecate, Hecate is the goddess of magic, witchcraft, the night, moon, ghosts, and necromancy. And many, if not all, modern witches, pagans, and Wiccans see Hecate as the goddess of witches and continue to worship and reference her for thousands of years. This is ongoing. All of the witches that you've described probably have quoted Hecate. Willow Rosenberg, 
frequently quotes her. Quoted in Bewitched for Hecate's sake, Medea, the priest, is a priestess of Hecate. She appears in Charm. She's quoted in Practical Magic. Black as night, erase death from our sight. White as light, mighty Hecate, make it right. Willow Rosenberg, as I mentioned, she describes Hecate as the queen and protectress of witches. She's an American horror story coven. The weird stissers of Macbeth. Hecate is their master. She is the ultimate witch. The head honcho. She is the witch? She is, no, this is... Jinx Monsoon, when she wins yeah. All Stars, <laughs> season winners of winners, literally thanks Hecate, and she is a practicing Wicca. So, do you ever see Hecate, or is it always just you're thanking Hecate? Hecate, I think the name literally translates to like working from afar, so is not there in the trenches, but is doing things and manipulating things as often witches do from out of sight. She's like witch god. Yeah, she's the, witch she's god. the yeah. goddess she's of witches. One, okay. The ultimate witch. Also, potentially, potentially the daughter of Zeus. I was what? just going to say a Zeus thing. Yeah. It's Greek mythology, uh, right? There's Greek? so much okay. stuff. So there's also, there's a bunch of different stories about her origin. So one is that maybe Papa Zeus, and the other is that she is was one of the Titans. Oh, okay. And was the only one of the Titans that was able to retain her power afterwards. Wow. So. Okay. The mm. Hecate, Hecate. Do you ever, uh, do you know what she looks like? Does she ever been like materialized? There are thing? statues and carvings and pieces of art where she's typically um, yeah, she described like? as hiding her face with torches. There's always this air of mystery around Hecate. But yes, picture like your classic kind of Greek goddess, the robes, but face hidden with yeah. torches. Torches. Yeah. Well, wow. I feel like that air of mystery is very witchy. Like, yeah. there's always mm-hmm. a mystery around mm-hmm. the witch, and they don't really give all their secrets. Yes. Hecate. Yes. Have you, Simone, Brayden, have you heard of Hecate before? No, but mm, that's a witch. <laughs> that's a witch right there. She's also got familiars. She's got two really badass familiars. One is Hecuba the dog. Um, and this is a dog who was the queen, the Trojan queen who leapt into the sea after the fall of Troy, became her dog, her familiar. So she's got a, a witch as a familiar and her other one is a polecat who um let's see was the witch gail who as punishment was turned into a cat and then hecate adopted her out of sympathy oh wow what is a polecat a kind of cat i think a big, oh. a big cat a, pole, uh, a very long cat very long yeah, very long cat. yeah the yeah. cat does a lot of surveys yeah, yeah. yeah. they <laughs> dance oh no Not a european cat. polecat i looked it up Polecat, any of several weasel like carnivores. Oh. Skunks, oh. minks, others. That makes sense. Pole like. Mm, yeah. That's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> but so cool. I, I genuinely believe that when we're talking about witchcraft, if I didn't mention Hecate. I yeah, would, I'm, yeah, I've never heard of Hecate, so I love yeah. this already. All right. Yep. Round two. Round two of witches. Wow. What a strong start to our witches. I'm going to nominate a trio. I think. Ooh, it's which time. one? Which one? I think there's only one I think that the I, one. I I feel like has to be on the list. I feel very strongly about this trio. I think the trio is from a little cult classic movie <laughs> that just got its sequel like days ago, as of this recording. The Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Of course. A nice, a classic They're trio. Just, bitches are back. Okay, I gotta say something. Matt I, Midler? Oh my god. Oh, Sarah yeah. Jessica Parker. My god. Everyone had a crush on her. But they're all the three of them are just amazing. They they yes. play off so well with each other. They're so delightfully family friendly evil. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't seen the second one yet, but I will say I posted about it in our work Slack channel. I was like, hey, I'm a low key like Hocus Pocus fan. This is like the movie, the movie channel. And I'm like, I'm a low key Hocus Pocus fan. Anyone else excited for the second movie? Crickets. Nobody. <gasps> what? Nobody. That's, That's why anyone from work listening, I'm disappointed in you. We're all disappointed. Um, Mine. I'm especially disappointed. I <laughs> just saw Hocus Pocus for the first time, like the first one, two days ago. Yes. And? And I sobbed at the end. I was like, this holds up. Because I didn't grow up watching very many movies. It's not something like my family did. It was never, like, I don't know. I just haven't seen many movies. Mm-hmm. So sometimes these, like, cult classics that people grew up with don't really translate when you're older and you don't have that, like, nostalgic factor. But this, when Thackeray becomes a boy again and his soul <laughs> is freed and Emily is like, what took you so long? I was like, oh. And I just started, like, Balling and was so attached to it, and I did watch the second one, and I, oh, I thought it was wonderful. Ooh, the second one's good. Yeah, oh, good. I really thought they nice. did. A good I'm glad that the three of them came back because that's fun. Mm. Hey, what's your favorite Hocus Pocus memory? The wigs. Mm. I like their their wigs. <laughs> Is that a rock? I just think the costumes are so, so fun. Good, I remember dude. being mesmerized by the visuals of that movie. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I, this is a really good Disney uh, like bully in that movie. <laughs> I remember just the, yes. right at the start. They steal his shoes, I believe. Yeah, I forget what their name. Ice and something. Yeah, just classic mm-hmm. Disney. It's been a while. It's been a while yeah. for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They're mm-hmm. like, give me your Halloween candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, a classic demonstration of this. Very typical thing of witches existing in groups of three. Yes. Yes. Oh, they're such a fun group of three, They're too. a great group of three. Yeah, I mean, we see groups of three in Charmed, the Weird Sisters, Macbeth, Hocus Pocus, The Craft, Banjo-Kazooie has a group of three oh wizards, my God. witches. Ooh. Which might make them the list. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Simone, what do you have? Okay, next up. I have a duo, and they are the lovely pair from Practical Magic. Mm. We have What's Jill. That? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I love this question because <laughs> not many of my friends know Practical Magic at all. It's a 1998 movie. It's when I was born. And it's <laughs> Sandra. It's the first thing you watched when you were born. <laughs> yes, I opened my eyes and it was like, Practical Magic. <laughs> Fresh out the womb. The doctors were playing it. In the... Anyways, um, we all get where that joke's going. Um, it's <laughs> Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Oh, okay. And they are witch sisses. And basically, they have like this curse on their family where whoever they fall in love with dies. The man they fall in love with dies, and it's so sad. And blah blah blah. And I'm tr- I'm trying not to explain the entire movie to you, but basically, one of them falls in love deeply, and her husband dies, and she goes into deep depression. The other one gets into like an abusive relationship, and they end up accidentally killing him by trying to like drug him to put him to sleep. And then they have to like they try to bring him back to life, which is the spell that Haley said earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, he comes back, and then they kill him twice. And it's this whole thing, and then he possesses her. And these sisters are like very much bonded. It's very much like the sisterhood of witches. And they're like, what I like about them is they're your average woman, it seems, but they also practice witchcraft and just like have that innate power. So one of them like is kind of against it and doesn't want to practice witch power, but she still can use it when she has to to like protect her sister. And then the other one's like really into it and is a little more on the darker side. And it's just like very cool to see them like own a lotion shop instead of like a potion shop and they just like a sell shampoo shop. and oh, and this. they're like they're like skin lotions and they're just like they're still ostracized from the town in the sense that everyone well they yell witch witch you're a bitch <laughs> 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 and they're like they're very like the weird ones and so they're trying to get away from that and the the other moms in the town like don't like them but at the end when one of them is possessed they all have to come together and it's like all of the women from the town who are sort of like you know, against these witches and are judging them and think they're above them, they all come over and help because they need the coven. They need the, like, nine or eleven or whatever it is, women, to get rid of this and curse and -hmm. lift it. And all these women come together and they're able to lift the curse and their love reigns and they put the demon to sleep. And it's just very beautiful women coming together in a more modern setting, which I really appreciated. And I love those sisters very much. And the movie has so many plot holes and it's amazing. Like, it's very chaotic. What are their names? Yeah, I need this for my side game. What are their names? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's Sal, I think her name's Sally and Jill. Okay. Jillian, Jilly. All right. They that call her great. Jillian Sally. They call, that's what they call each other. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> those would be they're names very, then. They're not very witchy names. No, what is their, Sally what's their last Jilly? name? I forget their last name. Sally and Jilly. Sally, Sally Jilly and Jilly. Yeah. Practical magic. Sally it's no, it's no scaly kill it, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. That's funny. Oh, Owens is their last name. Owens. Owens. Okay, so yeah. their names are Sally. Sally and Jillian. Owens. Owens. The Owens, Owens sisters. And oh, the, the Owens sisters does sound a little witchy, though. Yeah, it's and a little witchy. The Sanderson sisters were Winifred, Sarah, and Mary, right? E- yes, yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah. What's okay. Kathy and Jimmy's... Which is what's her name? Yeah, I think that I think that that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Haley, you seem to be up to some very witchy I'm, business over there. <laughs> I'm playing a secondary game in my head, and so far, one, two, three, three out of five, I'm right. Mm. <laughs> I just love that you're winning this game that no one knows. Okay. I will reveal it once we've okay. said everything. Perfect, perfect. I'm, I'm curious. I want to dial back to the lotions for a second. Are these magical lotions, or do, is it just like a front where they're selling just regular lotions? It's just regular, <laughs> just regular, regular lotions. Okay. It is just, you got like Not some, even a bad pun on potions. Not even just love no, lotion or anything like that. No, you have like crusty like legs, then like... Well, the thing is, too, which I think, like... 
often witches are also like the apothecary. Like they work, they're very in tune with the elements and like mm-hmm. the earth and they often have like healing gardens. So it's the healing side of witches that you don't often see. So it's not necessarily like this is actual magic, but it's like here are the herbs that you take for those ailments and those conditions oh, that will genuinely a different just type of witch help yeah, you. Okay. Like they also can like she'll blow on a candle and it'll light or she'll like zippity zap zap. But it's also it's practical magic, you guys. <laughs> it's, it's very it's the good. the name of the movie, okay? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Is practical magic just science? <laughs> <laughs> With a little flair. Uh, oh, yeah. well, Brayden. All right. Well, I want to maybe bring it to a, a real witch here for a Ooh. moment. Bring it to a real witch. Uh, Do this, it. This real witch's name was Ellie Kedward. Mm. She lived uh, in Burkittsville, Maryland back in 1785. Um, And around 785, there were reports from children that Ellie had been practicing witchcraft. And after a bunch of children in town went missing. Classic. Yeah. Mm. Ellie was put to death. She was hung in the forest with like weights tied to her, which like stretched her limbs down from a tree. So very grotesque. Ah. But the creepy thing was about a year later, half the children in the town disappeared. All of her accusers disappeared. Yes. And then there was nothing, and and then the rest of the townsfolk kind of just left that town. It was a ghost town. A hundred years later, it was starting to kind of get reestablished, but another girl named Robin Weaver went missing in the woods. The search party that went to look for her was found dead. Uh, on Coffin them? Rock, yes, ritualistically killed. On Coffin on Rock? On Coffin Rock. Cough. Could not be perfect. Wow. Is this in Maine? Did Stephen King write this? Yeah, yes, uh, yes. Maryland, so potentially same kind All of right. zone. Okay. So these five people were dead, but Robin Weaver, the girl who went missing, showed up after this. She was still alive, and she said a woman who was floating off the ground had led her into the Stop woods. Stop it, I'm getting the... And when they went back... When they went back to Coffin Rock, the bodies were gone. I love this. Mm, I love this. Ellie Mm-mm. Kedward. And so nothing, cool. Nothing Very happened good. until the 1940s. So in Burkittsville, then this man named Rustin Parr started abducting and killing children. And he ended up confessing to his crimes. And when he confessed, he said an old woman had made him do it. Stop it. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good because there's so much folklore about like witches coming to you in your dreams. Like the old yes. head classic. This is mm-hmm. like a sleep paralysis dream when mm-hmm. they sit on you and tell you to do things. Oh, I love and it. And this is the creepiest part. Of oh, there's, the more, creepiest there's part. more. The creepiest part? This is the creepiest part. We haven't even part. got to it yet. Oh, my God. So in the late 90s, Recent. a <laughs> documentary crew went out into the woods to see if they could learn more about this witch. And the documentary crew actually ended up going missing. Yes. Um, did they find the footage? Yeah, that's what I they wanted. They did find the footage. <gasps> and it was released as a movie known as The Blair Witch yes. Project. <laughs> yes. This is why I knew this, this story. Okay. So good. Uh, the Blair Witch Project, where we saw the fate of those those campers. One was, they were all killed. Um, wow. And yeah, they were, they went mad in the woods. Of course, the Blair Witch Project is a fictional tale, and everything I just told you is also part of the lore of the Blair Witch Project, but all of you thought it was real. Mm, yes. Yeah. I, all of you, you thought it me. was real. I tricked I all it. of you like so a So your witch. nomination is still Ellie. No, it's the Blair Witch. <laughs> and the reason I'm nominating the Blair Witch is because even with no one ever even seeing what this witch looks like, no one ever, there's no footage or drawings of this it is still the, one of the most terrifying witches and you were all saying it got yeah. goosebumps be- it's a good one because the legend surrounding it could be real so and that's why that's, right. you, that's yes. what i love tricked about us. it i know okay. well Very they tricked, thing to do. that's how they marketed the movie that's yeah, how they did it true. they made it Classic. seem real and everyone bought into the fact that this could be real I the found it. footage thing just took off from there right yes. like that's mm. where like paranormal activity launched cloverfield like yes. yeah mm-hmm. all because of blair which was so popular yeah. yeah because there's something scary about not seeing 
the monster. Yeah. There's yes. Yeah. So when it's most terrifying. Our imaginations are way worse than monster. anything we can write yeah. down. Um, yeah. Most of the time when they reveal the monster, you're like, that looks kind of goofy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But all that lore I just read was, uh, that's the story of the Blair Witch. Of, I love it. And wow. it's obviously very creepy. And, nice. Uh, yeah. Very yeah. creepy. I'm creep. Pure evil witch. It's I'm creeped. Yeah. Creep, 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 creep. Uh, I'm a creep. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Haley, what do you have? Willow Danielle Rosenberg. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Willow, mm. come on. There could, I, I'm i obsessed. I'm obsessed with Willow Rosenberg. Easily the best character on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Easily. Easily, um, easily the most powerful character well, she's on a witch. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> when she's a witch. Also a great story about, like the, the just the contrast they do about Willow's journey with magic in contrast to addiction and how she... We are talking about these arcs of witches who start off really good and then transition to evil. And then by the end of her story, spoiler alert, everybody who hasn't watched Buffy, <laughs> she she is the one that saves the world at the end. And she taps into the goddess Hecate. Oh, yeah. Um, and taps into this good magic and literally saves the world from the apocalypse. She also becomes wow. a goddess in that moment yes, herself. Yes, it's so good. Yeah. She's self-taught. She's got the classic witch things of a natural ability mm-hmm. and then also lots and lots of research. And I mean, Willow and Tara share one of the first queer kisses. I know. I was just going to mm. say that. One On of the television first, in yeah. 2001. It was really iconic and this spiritual queer awakening for a lot of people from my generation. Mm-hmm. So she's, I just personally am like, oh, Willow, I feel seen. <laughs> and I, yeah. I love this character. Her uh, vengeance for Tara was also some oh, of the best. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So amazing. <laughs> the board now moment when she rips the skin off yes. Warren. <laughs> like, just the incredible power she has when she's Dark Willow. And then the in- incredible restraint and knowledge that she has as she's moving through this story. I just think she is... She fought a god and won. She's a great witch. She's a yeah, great. I was hoping you'd say her. Well, you referenced Hello. her a few times before you even nominated her. So yeah, I, I love feel her like so she would come. Um, do you know Bu- Buffy the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> do I know? But, 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 but. Do you know Buddy? Um, <laughs> Buffy, I have seen a few episodes. You didn't watch it out of the but room? But I did not watch it. It was not playing in the doctor's office. <laughs> 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 uh, upon arrival in 1998. It no, was it would not. have been too early, I think, for that. 1998? Yeah. Simone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Uh, you're glowing. <laughs> mm, thank you. I love it. I love it. It's, yeah, it's just the baby. Great nomination, Haley. I think it, I, I'm. I'm glad she made the list. The That's goddess great. moment saving the world was very impactful. Hearing that for the first time, also. Yeah, so. it was. It's good. I think since uh, shows good. like. And I don't know for sure because I don't watch it, but shows like Riverdale <laughs> have been trying to do stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. which is like. I don't yeah. think they're. It doesn't sound like they're doing a good job with that. It's fine. It's fine. There are witches in Riverdale. I don't know what's happening in no. that show. I don't follow it. No. Sounds like a lot of magic powers. Yeah, for really. Us. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much magic and mystical stuff comes up in the Archie comics in general. There's a whole spinoff where where what? Archie and the and the gang are fighting zombies and monsters. Oh yeah, what? all these sorts of. Yeah. Archie's weird, man. Archie's super weird. I did not weird. know that. They yeah. go in all of the directions. Very it's, cool. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, I don't know too much about Riverdale, but there's all these new ones. I'm like, oh yeah, they're dark, gritty, sexy teen. Pulp things? I just remember... Well, I'm going to... Here, let me go into the next round of nomination, and I'll tie it back to Riverdale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would like to nominate the Please. whole cast of Riverdale. <laughs> My next nomination is Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> Not a witch. Not, not a witch. <laughs> I typed out my guess, and I want to see if I'm right for my nomination. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! Do, are you guessing the what I secrets. would like? Everyone would nominate, or no? Based you... on what you how you've set it up, I have a guess. In my you mind. have it. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just go left turn. Then no, I don't know. I, I there's so many good witches out there. This is actually like tough to yeah. to, to really nail it down. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I don't know anymore. Now I'm, oh God, I don't know. Follow your heart. Trust your heart. Trust your heart. I'm trying to see what we'll play with in this room too. Because mm-hmm. like, this this could be tough. This could be tough. You know what? I'm going to, I will go a different route, I think, than mm. what I was going to do. I'll, mm. I'll save my Riverdale witch for later. Yeah, now we have to know. <laughs> I just don't think the witch I was going to nominate would have played in this room. So I'm going to go with a different witch from a little movie franchise called Harry Potter. Ooh, which one? Um, and there's only one in my head that should be number one of all of the witches. Now, there are some good ones in there, but I do think the best one in my mind mm-hmm. is a professor at the yes, school. Yes, the only one. The Come only on. one. 
Come on. Professor McGonagall. Yes. Minerva McGonagall. Yes. Minerva. What a great witch name. <laughs> yes. And there's roots in that. There's there's a reason they called her that. Tell uh, me more. <laughs> I have to look up my notes. So keep talking about your reasons. Well, I think she's like easily the most badass teacher in the entire school. She is strict, but she's caring. She literally has no problem fighting the bad guys on her own. She'll just stand up for the school and she'll kick ass. Even when there's like death eaters after her and stuff like that, she can transform into a cat. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Brayden? Yeah. I was reading up about Minerva last night, and the sad thing about her is she's had a uh, very cursed and kind of terrible love life, Mm -hmm. uh, which I was sad to see, but maybe that's, you know, part and parcel for the the witch life. I feel like... That's very witchy. Yeah. Very witchy. I feel that's like everyone witchy. is kind of surrounded by tragedy in the witchy world in Harry Potter. Yeah. 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 And she has a really great hat. Yeah. <laughs> a really good witch hat. And she's similar to Hermione in that she had the whole, like, her parent, one of her parents was a muggle and she kind of yeah. faced yeah. a lot her of that. Dad. Yeah. Her dad. Yeah. Discrimination. Yeah. But... Uh, rose to the top. She was. She won a Transfiguration Award when she was at Hogwarts. Did oh. anybody know that? <laughs> wow. 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 Best I, Transfiguration. Yeah. I did not know this. <laughs> yes. I will say I used to be big into the Harry Potter world, and for reasons I think that are obvious to all of us, I've stepped back in a yes. major yeah, way yeah, from yeah. the J.K. Rowling world. Totally. But Minerva McGonagall. McGonagall is Scottish for, I think it's Son of the Brave, is the last Whoa. name. And then Minerva is taken from Athena. Mm. Oh, so that is that that's that's the origin, the goddess of wisdom and justice. I'm just out of curiosity. What is the counterpart to a witch? Is it wizard or warlock? Warlock means traitor, apparently. Does yeah. it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a that's bad interesting. Thing. Warlocks I'm just are wondering, always evil. Are they because always evil? I think. But they, they they have dark magic just like witches have. Witches dark are magic often too. dark magic, but also a lot of like light magic, like white magic. I think That's true. Mm-hmm. I, guess I think know. technically, if you go back, like a male witch was also called a witch. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Like, is yeah. a wizard a wizard and a witch a witch? Because, I mean, in a lot of like the witch trials, like real life witch trials, like men were also killed. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So That's... I wasn't sure if it was like, because I know Harry Potter is wizardry. Yeah. And yeah. then I think leans strongly into the binary uh, <laughs> in Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, let's, 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 let's disassemble the bullshit around the word That's witch. what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what we're here to do today. Let's <laughs> really do that. Minerva McGonagall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that the Harry Potter stuff can be very... It feels weird not to nominate a Harry Potter something, especially on a witch episode, like a yeah. magic episode. You picked the right one. But, I mean, regardless of all that stuff, Professor McGonagall, she, McGonagall she's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. She's still pretty cool. So Yeah, she's uh, a good role model, I think. I think so. I think yeah. so. Simone, do you have a witch that's a good role model as your next nomination? I do. Oh. In fact, have another and witch. It, it's from Witch. Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> it is Cole Sprouse. Um, <laughs> there's not actually twins. It's just one secretly wow. shaped twin. Um, anyways, so interesting that you brought up a real witch, Brayden, that mm-hmm. was Boudin. <laughs> yes, that wasn't actually real. I have an actual real witch. Dun, dun, dun. This is the Bell Witch. <gasps> the Bell Witch. Such a good story. From Tennessee. So the Bell Witch, long, 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 long time ago, there was this man who had a, a home, <laughs> and his neighbor was said to be a witch. She was said to be a witch. And they had a really strong disagreement, and she she died. Whether he killed her or not is debated, but let's say for the story, he murdered her. And so she was going to get revenge in this afterlife, which I think is also a very interesting theme like in the witch world. You see it with like, the Sanderson sisters as well, where they all like they're, we killed them, but they're looming around and waiting to come back kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So Basically, his family's living in their home, and all of a sudden, like, the big tale is they see a lot of animals that are very strange. So there's, like, a dog with a rabbit's head, and he, like, shoots him, and then things go berserk, and there's, like, scratching on the walls, and then they're yanking on their legs in the night and pulling their hair. And his daughter and him got it, like, really, really bad. And then, you know, there was, like, like little whispers, and then it started to talk, and then it's this omnipotent, like, voice. And the voice's name is Kate, which was... <laughs> Kate. Which was the neighbor's name. Oh. And it's like, I am here for revenge. And it is a very funny ghost, witch ghost, who likes to play a lot of little silly games, but took a very fond liking to the wife and would often just, like, bring her, like, light her a candle or, like, bring her a tea or things like that was just like very nice to the wife but would be very very evil to um, Mm. I believe his name was John Bell like they had someone who said he could 
kill witches with like an iron bullet and he came to the house and she stopped his horse in his tracks and he was Mm. terrified and ran for the hills and people would come and it was like everybody heard this voice I don't know if it was like a mass hysteria I mean it was a witch but Mm. um, this voice there was this is one of those tales that there's often like I was in the woods and I saw a witch but this one has so many eyewitnesses that it's just deemed to be true. Like people believe this so wholeheartedly to be true because of all the testimonies of people who were legitimately there in groups, all heard this voice, all saw like the shutters move and open or whatever it may be. And then eventually she like killed John Bell and they, they found him dead in his bed. He was poisoned. Nobody went up there. There was no access to his room, but there was a small vial beside his bed they don't know what it's from they threw it into the fireplace and it lit giant blue flames and shut out the ceiling whoa oh fine did it make a cool like ghost noise as it went into the fire (laughs) (laughs) Uh, question do you know the name of the bell witch or is it just the bell witch I'm pretty sure it's just the bell witch I know well the thing is a lot of people think it's the neighbor because she called herself I believe it was Kate it was a very like funny name for a witch Kate the witch yeah but then some people like you know it's a very old story so some people are like her name was actually Esther but it was like that's a good name too Esther I'll put a slash there yeah, but it was the neighbor. Now, let's do a check-in on Haley's game here. Haley, what do we got? Okay, what's, so what? out of, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only counting yours, so eight other wishes. And I am one, two, three, four, for four. Fifty percent. Fifty percent wish. Fifty percent so far. Yes, yes, for for my my guess. For you, you, you will tell us later. I will. I'm okay. going to reveal it. I'm going to reveal it. Don't okay. worry. I'm trying to guess what it is. Yeah, me too. Isn't it fun to have a bonus game? It's fun. I mean, it's fun for you. <laughs> I think it's fun. Yeah. I think it is fun. Yeah, it's fun I can I... tell you now. No, you no, 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 no. Because no. Brayden has to go, and he's gonna he's gonna throw a curveball on your game. You betcha. Yeah. Here it is. Here we go. Here comes the curveball, Simone. I'm definitely gonna need consultation on whether this is a witch or not. But okay, let me just list a few traits of this witch before I get into who she actually is. Okay. Um, she's infatuated with influencing children. Okay. Very Check. Witchy. She has a magical device that she can use to fly. Mm-hmm. Check. Okay. She does a special incantation when she does her spells. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does her magic. Mm-hmm. She might even be immortal. Okay. Is she a jellyfish? <laughs> she is not. <laughs> uh, she is also not very evil at all. Her name is Mary Wait. Poppins. Yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> this is a witch. Mary Poppins is a witch. She was on my That's list of honorable mentions. Me That's too. A, she's really a witch. She's a witch. She's a witch. She's a witch. She's a she witch. flies with an umbrella. She yes. touches her nose. She's got a magic bag full of stuff. She's Every, just a good witch. People at home. People at home. You, you don't have any idea what just happened right now where all three of them just stared me directly in the eye. And like, she's a witch. She's a witch. She's a witch. You shut the fuck up. She's away. I, I wouldn't have nominated her without doing intensive back uh, research. Yes. And I watched this YouTube video of what was maybe 10-year-old girls who were did a Venn diagram of <laughs> which Mary Poppins and, you know, the overlap between yes. them. What did and you there learn? was far more overlap than mm-hmm. there was on either side. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't know what Mary Poppins is up to at like after hours and stuff like that. She it, might be doing some evil shit. Exactly. She jumps she, into different realities. And who yeah. said, yeah, who said, you know, witches can't be good? I think we've had a lot of evil representation on this list, but Mary Poppins is a witch for good. Yeah. I'm so yeah. glad you said that. I, I was just this. about to nominate that right before you did. And I was like, oh, I feel good. bad. There's no nice witches. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Professor McGonagall's a nice witch. She's a nice She's witch. A nice oh, witch. She, I've never seen Harry Potter. Uh, yeah. That's for yeah. the best, Simone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I really, well, I played the long game on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally, totally. <laughs> good, but, you one. know, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is a spell. She, uh, yeah. yeah. That is a spell. That's what she uses. They she, jump into a sidewalk they, painting. They, yes. they jump into storybooks. Also, Rita Repulsa, my first nomination, also threw the Power Rangers in a storybook. Exact same power. So if she's a witch, Mary's a witch. Yeah, and just, uh... It becomes also, very. Sorry, cl- did anyone else just hear that weird voice? voice? Yeah, it was Mary Poppins talking to her. <laughs> no. I think Brandon that was stuff. my phone yeah, thinking Brandon. I was talking about my phone. Still, I, I call my like, phone oh, Mary Poppins. I, yeah. Yeah. After talking about the Bell Witch, like <laughs> yeah. using her voice, I'm like no. Like, Actually, I would like. Kate. I would like to nominate the, the voice assistant on my phone Siri? because she <laughs> chimes in at the weirdest times, and it's yeah, it's the freaky. The incense went out. Um, Ooh, it's okay. Sweet. No, we're asking Mary. Poppins. Poppins. Yeah, we're doing Brayden's yeah. voice Someone assistant get the salt, get the salt, on his get the salt. Samsung Galaxy. 
Yeah, yeah like but she's it. she's a witch. She she's and totally she, and she makes the children keep her secret as well. I think, right? Yes, yes, yes. Adults yeah. can't know about her powers, and uh, yeah, and she's summoned through a note that was ripped up that was by a man and thrown into a fire. Yeah, mm. and it and it magically floated its way to her. Yes, yes. she's hundred percent a witch. Great choice, Brady. And yeah. Mary Poppins returns. Okay, movie. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Put it out there. That's with Emily not as, Blunt. It's yeah. not, a, not not even close. It's good. No. I say it's okay, movie. When Manuel yeah. Miranda yeah. annoys me in that movie, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> he has such a good. Uh, he's too earnest. He's a leery. <laughs> he's very happy. You can tell he was having a great oh, time. Yeah, because he got to write most of that music. Yeah, so of course he was. And he got to do a fun little weird accent. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm. Haley. Okay. So my third witch. I mean, there's so many. I literally had 24 witches on my list. Oh my goodness. Um, and I think for my, f- I'm so torn, but I think I have to go with a classic. I think I got to go with the Evil Queen, also known history to Grimhild. I'm talking about the Evil Queen from Snow White. Oh, mm, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. This is the iconic witch. A lot of the witches were, yeah, I literally put little apples on the table. Uh, they're props to support my what choice. What kind of apples are they again? These Always are mini cur apples. Mini cur. Mini cur apples. Mini cur apples. Just for proof that they're here. Whoa. Oh, what a. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play back that sound when I'm editing it because it was such a strange bite. It was like it's because it's so little. It's but it was very <laughs> long for it's a tiny. small apple. Yeah. It's tiny. It's like a one inch high apple. Anyways, so I'm choosing the Evil Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is a 1937 Evil Queen, but she's based on Grimhild from the Brothers Grimm, mm-hmm. a super powerful female ruler, all about independence, freedom, power. This is like there's so many, there's so many mm-hmm. haunting things about this witch. The classic stereotype, this trope of being a stepmother starts here. Mm-hmm. The double-faced nature of witches, like the hag, the vixen, the the sexy one, and the creepy old one, mm-hmm. also, I think, has a lot of its origins here. Which one's which? <laughs> which one's which? <laughs> She's pretty sexy as a hag. Across the board. They're so good. To each their own. That's all I'm saying. No. But, like, so good. She has two crows for familiars. The magic mirror mm-hmm. is one of her familiars. Oh, yeah. That mirror's creepy. Mirror work it's is so very good. Important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then her spell, the poisoned apple, is like now the representation of villainy on yeah. a whole. If you want to represent, mm-hmm. you like poison apples and you know you're talking about evil. Yeah. She can also turn into a dragon. Pretty sweet. She becomes a dragon. She Wait, becomes isn't a dragon. Sin? Isn't that malevolent? Ma- malevolent. Ma- Ma- Maleficent. Oh, yes. Maleficent. Sorry. Fair enough. I re- redacted. <laughs> Reda- yeah, yeah. Redacted. She probably could become a dragon mm-hmm. if she wanted. Yes. Well, that's scarier, I think. But uh, she's evil, a little scarier. Evil Queen has evil. the classicness to. She, it's the first Disney animated film, is Snow White. Yeah. Exactly. So, so there's there's a lot of roots there for me. And this poisoned apple, this links to another witch from history, Lilith. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lilith, who has I believe the story is like takes the apple in the early garden, the mm. Eden, the Eden, the mm. Garden of Eden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you Lilith. think it was a? Mini Kerr apple. I think it was. I think it was. <laughs> it's just such a oh, long. Oh, <laughs> was yeah, it's a little pop. Wow. It's just wow. such a long bite for a <laughs> tiny, the tiniest <laughs> apple in the world. It's strange. It's impressive. And it? It's so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great nomination. Evil Queen. Do you two have any feelings about the Evil Queen? Mm, that's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I was feeling bad that some of these classic witches hadn't made the nominations yet, so I was really happy to see her come in. And is she the mirror, mirror on the wall? She is. Yeah, and also has also classic, which is like very classic witch thing. Stealing a heart, controlling men, making them do things for you until you get the ultimate power. Yeah, like she's trying to overthrow the king and become the ruler of everybody, and she does it in brutal and awful ways. Mm -hmm. Very witch, very witch, very witch, very witch. And wears purple. I think starts the trend of witches wearing purple. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, especially in Disney, Ursula's purple. Purple, Mad Madam Mim, mm. purple. Yeah, I didn't even notice yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Very She's a trend setter. Meg from Hercules is purple. She's mm. kind of. She's not. Really nah, she's not really. She's mm-hmm. kind of cursed. But yeah, yeah poor yeah. Meg. Yeah, yeah, poor Meg. Poor one out for Meg. Um, so that. <laughs> <laughs> That's our list of 12. We're going to figure out Haley's game on the break. And when we're back, we're going to rank top five witches. That's a witch. That's a witch. That's a witch. That's a witch. Report. Set collection. Discrepancy straight lined. Moth said. Meet Moth. Moth travels everywhere and every when in search of often deadly discrepancies. 
and tries to make sense of the briefs she gets from collection. There were holes in the brief, you know. I don't like that. The Moth Collection Podcast. It's science fiction with a little bit of horror. It's weird and funny and romantic. And there won't be another season. 14 episodes and that's it, people. Available wherever you get your podcasts. Presented by Podcavern. Top five, top five, top five. Hello, everyone. We are back. We're ready to rank some witches. We are back in full garb. Mm -hmm. All of us are wearing our cloaks. Where'd you guys get your cloaks, by the way? I got my cloak. I found it lost and abandoned in the middle of Birch Forest. Whoa. Yeah, it smells of patchouli and sandalwood. And in the pockets, I found a rabbit skull. Holy shit. That is cool. Brayden, your cloak looks very fancy. I also discovered it in a mysterious location. Mm Mm-hmm. The men's section at a value village. God damn it. That's what I was going to (laughs) say. I can see you have the tag still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Simone, you have a very interesting cloak on. Can you explain that for me? I can explain my cloak to you. Yeah. This cloak is a long, dusty rose, paisley, uh, fleecy cloak with a hood mm-hmm. that is also very long and almost like a 1800s nightcap with a tassel. Yeah, it's very Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. If yeah. Scrooge were a witch. Yeah. Scrooge, Scrooge might be a witch. Save for honorable mentions. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know. You don't know. Ooh. I am disappointed. Today's podcast, we are not, none of us have brought brooms today. None of us decided to levitate during this cast. What's the deal with that? Well, I flew it all the way from Alberta, so it's charging. <laughs> it's a USB charge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a Tesla broom. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. And my broom is a duct tape car, and you, <laughs> you <laughs> rode in it. Yes. Yeah. And I insisted you come to my HQ, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah. I rode a Roomba here. <laughs> so that's Mama. Mama. <laughs> yes. Screw brooms. Uh, okay. Our list of witches, very strong list, but as we said on the break to each other, there's a lot of witches that were not set. It's a shocking mm-hmm. amount of witches out there. So we will mention them later, but our list right now, which I think is very good, is Ursula, Baba Yaga, Rita Repulsa, Hecate, Sanderson Sisters, the Owen Sisters, the Blair Witch, Willow Rosenberg, Professor McGonagall, the Bell Witch, Mary Poppins, and the Evil Queen from Snow White. Yes, which Ooh. I got 25% correct in the secret game. Okay, you gotta say it now. Okay. Witches' names often end with the letter A. Oh. So Ursula, Baba Yaga, Rita Repulsa, and Minerva all fit into that category. Oh, fun. Yes, but also Zelda, Hilda, and Sabrina Spellman, Glinda the Good Witch, Samantha, and Dora, Clara, Bethilda Bagshot, Broomhilda, and Dora Adams, or Eudora Adams, this is Grandmama, also ends with A, Medusa, Tara from Buffy. Oh, my God. Wanda... Maximoff, Bathsheba from The Conjuring, Endora from Bewitched, Gruntilda, Mingilla, Blabella, and Brentilda from Banjo Kazooie all end in the letter A. So that is a nuts because before I was going to play this game of turning your names into a bunch of spooky witch puns, I was going to just do a witch generator of names here. Do they all end in A? And then most of them end in A. Swish. Ophelia, Thalia, Faba, Regina. Lavina. Regina? Regina just a city? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Regina spooky, is like... Spooky, spooky Regina. This doesn't, honestly, I'm not sure. This this witch is Regina Shelley. I don't know how. I think I know her. <laughs> <laughs> like, doesn't seem very witchy. I think she's from a small town in Alberta. <laughs> yeah. But the A. Yeah, but the A. The a. Just Why? Is there anymore. a reason for that or just... No, it's just a commonality. And so now if people are coming up with witch names, you typically just slap an A on something and... Is it like yeah. an abracadabra? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. <gasps> Helia. It already sounds more witchy. Yeah. Tunga. Tunga. Braydena. Braydena. Braydena's cool. Braydena is, cool, is actually, actually really cool. Simona? I like it. That's, that's, that's Simone. Right. No, that's just my name in Italian. Yeah. Simosa. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, our list, we have it. Let's do stars for further consideration. So, I'm going to okay. uh, get people. I'm going to go around the circle, and you're just going to star a nomination for further consideration, and we'll just go once around. Star one that isn't one of your own. Simona, if you will, <laughs> star one that isn't one of your own. Okay. I think I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go with Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is starred. We'll talk about that later. Brayden, star one that isn't one of your own. I'm going to star Willow. Mm. Willow Rosenberg. Mm-hmm. Haley. Ursula the Sea Witch. 
Okay, I'm gonna star Baba Yaga. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have four starred Ursula, Baba Yaga, Mary Poppins, Willow Rosenberg. Of course, these aren't locked for the list. They're just a way for us to navigate it. I'll get everyone to now open floor. If you want to start any other ones that you want to fight for, they can include one of your own right now. Go for it. If you think it has a good shot. Hecate. Hecate. Yeah. Hundred percent. Nice, Simone. We said it in unison. Yeah. We're a coven. A coven. Ah. Hecate. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brayden. Oh, sorry. Hecka, yay for this <laughs> list. There we go. I think the Sanderson sisters yes. should be starred for consideration. I yeah. agree. Iconic trio. I mm-hmm. mean, I gotta star the Blair Witch. I was gonna say the Blair Witch as well because the journey you took us through, Brayden, we all were bewitched. I just have more to say about the Blair Witch as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Simone? Um, if you think it has a shot, of course. I mean, they, these are all great witches, but now we got to tear them down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm also happy. Yeah, I think that's a good witch. I think that's a good witchy list. It's a good witchy list. For me personally at this mm-hmm, point in mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. Haley, does this uh, satisfy your witch meter? <laughs> Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yes, yeah. it does. I actually get you Hecate and Willow are to start on your side here. Yeah, so. I'm I'm I'm, yeah, you're happy. I'm doing well. You're happy. And my, my other one was a classic to throw in here. Yeah. But it, very important to shout out. It I was think. my third one. I'm I'm really satisfied with Ursula, Baba Yaga, Hecate, the Sanderson sisters, Ellie Kedward, and Willow and Mary. Brayden? <laughs> yeah. I was I was going back and forth between the evil queen. Rita Repulsa. Just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. She is pretty bad. She's listen. a space <laughs> witch. She's when you, the only intergalactic. I got um, really excited when you said that because I didn't even consider her as a witch. Mm-hmm. But uh, it is tough. She she is in tough company, I would she, say. The, the one thing that I'm fighting with with her is she is just goofy. She is not like badass that's a, that's like most a, of these That's witches. a win. That's a win in my books. Like the yeah. goofy campy. The thing is like the goofy campy can also be lumped yeah. in with the Sanderson sisters. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So Rita, she's just more classically evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is not fun. classically witchy. I think there's enough evil. That's probably what it is. Yeah. 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 I'm thrilled that she was part of the conversation. And now go go Power Rangers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. I'm gonna just say the ones that weren't starred and we can just kind of gracefully let them go unless we have we're like oh maybe we should talk about it a little later mm-hmm. Professor McGonagall I'm okay with letting go I think uh, there's too much mm-hmm. I just feel weird like having a Harry Potter thing on this list to be honest with you that's part of it but if I try to put Professor McGonagall in a vacuum she is so fucking cool and I think she you know she is she was a role model for a lot of people reading those books as well so mm-hmm. it, it is a tough one for me but I, I think ultimately we have other good witches on this list too that can yeah. take her spot uh farewell minerva yeah Bye. Maggie is that how you Smith. feel too Haley? probably yeah, yeah i'm good i i agree with you in that like in the the canon of harry potter there was only one that i felt was i was ne- i was like oh do i debate do i nominate her yeah and it's minerva but i i, I am ready to to watch her uh, transfigure into a cat and meow her sassy ass away. Yes. Yeah, and I feel like you could do a ranked of just Harry Potter characters. We could. I won't. But we could. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. There's there so, so many. many. There like when I was, wizard people. It's yeah, true. When I was doing research there, the, I found this great blog on 100 witches. This, this wonderful person posted a witch every day for 100 days. Oh my goodness. And acknowledged, just went, I have to acknowledge Harry Potter. This could be an entire post yes. on its own. Yeah. There's a few good Harry Potter potter ones but i think ultimately Bye-bye. they don't need to be here yeah. so all right so what about the owen sisters and the bell witch simone you're okay with letting those go listen they're practical <laughs> and one's even real and that can just be their thing mm-hmm. okay that's great the bell witch is one of the most wonderful campfire ghost stories that you can tell though it's worth it's looking up classic. and learning it i do like that, that a lot just because it was like you can it's one her. of our real witches right like that's like Hecate. a Hecate, yeah, that's true. But Hecate, she's real to us. But the 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 Bell Witch was more like a, a it was story. A, like it's more like um. Well, you can like, like go visit her. She supposedly yeah. still lives in this cave, and is, you can go and see it right now. Today. Is the Bell Witch the one that was crushed on the rock? No, no that was uh, Mall Dyer. Mall, thank you. Oh, Anyways, yeah, that's yeah, one yeah, of my yeah, honorable yeah. mentions. Yeah, Spoiler yeah, yeah. alert! Yeah. Spoiler. Woo! 
Yeah, Seeing into the future cool. like a witch. She was cool. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was the only reason why I would keep the Bell Witch is because it has like real life implications. Not to say Hecate doesn't, but Hecate feels more like a more um, Mytholo- we're, we're, mythological. We're praying to her. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You're not praying to the Bell Witch. So well, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> Maybe you should. Start. Maybe we'll see it back if we need like a real life witch to you know yep. round out the list. Yep. Uh, the Blair Witch. We're definitely gonna keep that. Um, mm-hmm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's already started. Yes, yeah. evil queen. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm glad she was. It. I'm glad she was here. Yeah, was, yeah, she was almost an honorable mention for me to be honest. And yeah. my first honorable mention will be the alternate that I was going to bring yeah. forward. Yeah, I think out of it, we only need one Disney witch, if any, on this list, mm-hmm. and it's Ursula. Body language. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go through, let's see, Ursula, Sanders' sisters, Baba Yaga, the Blair Witch, Mary Poppins, Hecate, and Willow Rosenberg. We got to cut two of them to make a top five. I'm going to say that one more time, but slower, and we're going to go through something called locks. So when I say it, say if it's a lock for you. If all of us say it's a lock, it's going to make the top five probably. And if someone like hesitates for a second, we'll move on. Sound mm-hmm, good? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ursula, lock or no lock? Lock. Lock. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an Smug. option? Smug. Yeah. It wasn't even a hesitation. It was more like a <laughs> uh, ugh, exhausted. 50 50 shot. Sanderson sisters. Lock or no lock? That's a lock. Ooh. Yeah. Silence. All right, no move lock. on. Yeah. So it's okay. Here, I'll do a uh, Simone. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Baba Yaga. Lock or no lock? Oh, I would lock. I kind of would lock. I would lock a Baba I Yaga. Lock. I, I think that's yeah. a fine like folklore. folklore. I'm into Baba Yaga. I'm ninety percent lock on. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And then let's see the Blair Witch lock, lock or no lock. Lock. I could lock totally. it if I'm. I, I could hear persuaded. more arguments. I want to hear more yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. I yeah. 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 More. You have more, and I want more. So yeah. yeah. So I'm. I'm. A, I haven't voted yet, but please, closing. candidate, describe your platform. Yeah. 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 And Mary Poppins lock, lock for me, hard lock. <laughs> Turn the key, throw it away, lock really? it up, baby. Not a lot of locks. I mean, I'm so close to a lock, but like we're not there. Okay, I'm not sure. It's I'm okay. Sure. It's okay. Hecate lock. lock. All right, that's our first. <laughs> <laughs> that's our first lock, yeah. and it was in harmony. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Willow Rosenberg lock. lock. Baby. Uh, <laughs> Who is that again? I, oh, Buffy. 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 Buff. 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 Yeah. Buff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, both. Yeah, <laughs> Brandon and I locked it in. I could, I could, I could lock Willow. Nice. She's iconic. Uh, Simone, not yet. But it's not fair because I'm just too juvenile. That's okay. We That's don't fine. have to. We can make more arguments for uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Willow later. We could talk more Willow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. We have we didn't solve too much with the yeah, locking. Yeah, we just lock everybody. We got rid of the Sanderson sisters. We didn't get rid of anyone. <laughs> no, we didn't get rid of them. Well, I I locked them. But do you want to get I rid of them? I also think I locked them. Yeah. I don't know. We need a. We I think we need a trio. You just mentioned how iconic trios are on witches, and we only have well, one. And I also I think know. that they might be responsible for luring or like bringing in a lot of people to like the witch love. Mm. Like I think mm. they had a lot to do with like the the overall excitement around witchy movies and the witch and the fables of them, and you know, like I just think that they really they really ride hard for the witch team. Well, for me, it's who would I swap, right? Like, we've still got Ursula, Baba Yaga, Hecate, the Sanderson sisters. Mm -hmm. I can't get rid of Ursula for the Sanderson sisters. Why? Yeah, Because Ursula is way better. I like them both, but I... mm. I like the sisters better. They're They're more witch to me. They're Mm. supposed to be evil and, like, powerful, but really they... I don't know. They fall they flat. They suck the life they're out just, of They're just—they're kind of goofy. I like a goofy witch. Yeah, they are. That's we, part of it too. Right? We need a goofy witch on this list. Do we? Do I mean, we? I. But then also, I guess I'm flip flopping here because I would say Ursula has a bit of a goof, like has she major camp, major mm, camp. Divine. Definitely. The drag queen that she is based camp. on is wildly ridiculous. The John Waters movies, the Divine from. She's a different type of campy though. She's like she's much yeah. more. E, like Sanders' sisters are very tongue in cheek with like their evil well, schemes. They're, they're more like Broadway camp. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. Ursula's more like. Real me this. Mm-hmm. Sanderson sisters or the Blair Witch. Blair Witch is okay because that's what I am debating right now. It's between the Sanderson sisters and the Blair Witch. Okay, so we got to cut two, right? So okay. Mm. Um, the Blair Witch. If we're putting them up against the Sanderson sisters, I have to pick the Blair Witch. Just out of the sheer terror, the believability, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, um, and I think that Blair Witch also has a lot of, like, the classic witchy lore that, like, mm, the Bell Witch also had. Like, yeah. Like, tagging in a lot of those things, mm. but I... Mm. Or is the Sanderson sisters versus Mary Poppins? No, Mary Poppins is saying, screw the sisters, screw them. <laughs> I don't care. Because, like, if, if we're that. looking I for campy that. joy I thing, see that I overlap. wish one of the two. I see that overlap a lot. Mary, Mary. I would lock in Mary Poppins to cut the Sanderson sisters. Deal. It sounds like that is uh, a trade I don't want <laughs> to make, but I don't... Uh, it's been made. <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> that sucks. Sanderson sisters are great. They are pretty iconic. Ranked is hate, tough, okay? I like <laughs> that we don't have a trio or a duo on this witchy yeah. list. Honorable mentions. Honorable yeah, but mentions. on our top five, we're not having the Hocus Pocus trio. But we're me? making a coven. Hey, it's yeah, the it's top true. five, and there's one witch per spot. We can just do yeah, it's to true. That. It's we true. Can say that's it. Okay, yeah. so Aww. Hocus No Kiss with <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a stretch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. How would you two witches try better? N- no kiss. <laughs> no kiss. Yeah. Hocus. Hocus, not this. Oh, oh yeah, that was better. It's not fair. Haley's like a trained comedian. Sorry, severed tongue. Yeah. <laughs> We're all trained comedians. Are you yeah, kidding? it is true. Yeah. Not award winning. Uh, <laughs> not, not with no kiss. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. We're down to six. We're down to we six. Wait, who else more. did we get rid of? I just got rid of Sanderson sisters. That was it, right? No, yeah, we I'm, and I'll say for the record, for the people at home, I'm not happy about it, but you know how this, uh, usually my guests turn on me, and now's the time. <laughs> it's classic. Can, can it's we explain classic. again why Willow? Okay. Just because I'm not familiar, but I'm open to it. <sighs> That's fair. So, Willow <laughs> Rosenberg is not only an amazing witch, but she's a wonderful friend. Very big heart. She wants to take care of people. She goes above and beyond in the realm of friendship and heroism to like save people as like a super nerd she doesn't let that get in her way of like she literally saves her bully multiple times and as she grows wow. she just gets more and more powerful she's super gay which i like yeah i was gonna say she's um, a she's a we need some queer representation on this top five list she's a queer icon for she sure. is she mary is mary poppins mary poppins actually mary poppins I would not be surprised if she was gay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, yes. I think Willow Rosenberg, when it comes to pop culture witches, this is the one that is super influential. And I think when you watch it, when you watch Buffy, you will yes. you will go, yes. Oh, it's Alison yeah. Hannigan. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's Alison oh, Hannigan. Oh, yes. We it's also Alison Hannigan. That. And it's like the classic redheaded witch. Yeah. Like, she's so, so good. And she is, I think, out of the witches on the list, with the exception of Hecate, the most powerful witch. Yeah. I yeah. also like, I just was looking at pictures as you were describing. Yeah, she's a big Um, I think yeah. it's also what I was enjoying about like the Practical Magic Sisters is like mm. bringing it into like a more modernized space and mm-hmm. having that like sisterhood. So mm-hmm. and really I accept. Heck again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There it is. Hey, there it hey is. I'm back. And, <laughs> yeah. and like <laughs> she engages with the coven. She does have a group. Like her and Tara work as a team often. And yeah. if you throw in Amy me, then sometimes there is a trio. Okay. I, I have no qualms like about that. Willow being on this list. I, I, she yeah. just has like probably the best arc in that entire show. She does, yeah. And there's multiple good arcs in that show. Uh, so Spike, she's uh, the full. I can't even get started. Willow. So okay. now it feels like Ursula versus Mary Poppins. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we need to, like, who are we 100% keeping? It sounds like Willow is on the list. I'm yeah, okay I'm with, happy with that. Okay, Hecate, Blair, oh, sorry, he- Hecate, Mary Poppins, and Willow. That's three. Those feel like they're going to be on this list. And then there's Blair Witch, Baba Yaga, and Ursula. Ooh. Which I think is tough. Baba Yaga versus Blair Witch when it comes to folklore. Um, I can see that matchup. Okay. Oh, that's so hard, that's though. Really Baba hard. Yaga is a real legend. Yeah. But, like, again, the story might not be true. The thing about the Blair Witch is it's a fake legend and people thought it was real. Yeah. Which is witch. Yeah. Which is way more witchy than a fake legend that might not be true. Or, like, a real legend that Mm. might not be true. It's a real legend that might not be true versus a fake legend that people thought was true. Yeah, but I think with Baba Yaga, too, like, the way that it's transcended time and, like, continues to come back and people are still scared of and still been used in so many different forms of media Mm. is also pretty witchy in their never dying, ever... That's true, and I I would say the same, you could say the same thing about the Blair Witch. It's just, it's only been around since the 90s, but it keeps coming back. Cloverfield, people were like, oh yeah, the Blair Witch. 
any first person mm. movie that comes out, they're like, oh yeah, the Blair Witch. But is that about the filmmaking or the witch? It's true. Both. Yeah, it's like in the a way. story of the witch. It's the intensity of this witch that yeah. you don't see but are terrified of. Honestly, Brayden, the reason the Blair Witch is on the list is because of the way you introduced it. Yes. And you got me hooked into that whole witchy vibe of the story. I haven't seen the Blair Witch Project. Oh. So I was this I dedicated based up. off your story. <laughs> it does hold up. I yeah, think you did I, so? I still to this day think it's the scariest movie. It's It was like that and then Paranormal Activity, which was just, you know based kind of on the yeah, 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 style. Yeah, type of like... Mm. But Bobby Yaga comes flying in on a mortar and pestle. It's true. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Guacamole feet. Okay. He's the witch. How about the guacamole witch? <laughs> this is the chicken, chicken legs. Movies or the chicken like legs. Pop co- like yes. I just don't know enough about Bobby Yaga maybe oh, to make it... Oh, many things. You'd many be surprised. Things. Yeah, Bobby yeah. Yaga is Wait, let me... freaking huge. Lara Croft Tomb Raider, okay. an amazing villain in one of the Lara Croft games. She's um, creepy. Bobby yeah. Yaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Baba Yaga's in, like, a lot of... I... Mm, this is tough. If I had to... And it's also kind of where, like, the image of the witch also, like, they used to say she had a lead nose, and she would lie down in her bed, and her nose would touch the ceiling. And yeah. she could sniff out the scent of who was coming. There's... And it's, like, the mm. very, like, where a lot of, I think, like, the witch trope sort of spun out it's from. It's true. Baba Yaga does give me, like, the classic witch vibes that I'm needing, and... When we're talking about, like, the crone and the old hag, I think Baba Yaga, I think the translation is grandmother witch. Yeah, yeah it's grandma. Mm-hmm. If I'm looking at pictures, she is the, yeah, she you know, looks exactly like that. Even in just doing this, I'll make a concession, whereas Baba Yaga has, like, that mortar and pestle. She has kind of her, like, tied to nature and sort of thing. I don't know if the Blair Witch is really, like, magical in any way. They're just mm-hmm. kind of, like, scary. They, like, cut out tongues. Yeah. They do very, like, ritually Sever kind of tongues. things. Mm-hmm. And, Put dolls in trees. More and all like that satanic stuff. than <laughs> nice. necessarily witchy. Yeah, think, more murdery than yeah. just like more yeah. m- murdery culty. mystery. Yeah, culty so, kind of. So, so is it Baba Yaga? I, I I would lean Baba Yaga because Baba Yaga has a richer history throughout okay. a lot of fiction and stuff, and not even just fiction, just like folklore stuff. And I'm more familiar with Baba Yaga than I am the Blair Witch. But I, yeah, you don't even get to see the Blair Witch do any witchy stuff. I mean. You hear about her witchy stuff. You hear about her witchy stuff. You yeah. see, you see at the end of the movie that something killed those kids, but you'd never see what it was. But is it more like ghosty, haunty instead of like witchy? Mm. Yeah, very much like paranormal yeah. activity. Y- yeah, very paranormal. You don't see it. A lot of sounds in the woods. Yes. A lot of mm. rocking their tent when they're sleeping, kind of things. That movie's also. This is now. I'm just getting into the production. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna watch it when this is over? Yeah, like, are we but they, the Blair Witch? didn't they have they, a second movie too? They yeah. did have a second movie, and I Wikipedia it. It didn't play into my argument very well. So <laughs> I, I mean, intentionally not mentioned it. All right, but hmm. yeah, I don't know. They're Baba. I think I gotta go Baba. I, I think Baba. I gotta go Baba. Maybe for the lack of, the lack of magic. Baba Yaga. <laughs> But Baba Yaga do Baba oh, Yaga <laughs> The crossover we didn't know we needed. Know. Uh, I'm getting delirious I'm, now. I am picturing Fred and Wilma Flintstone living in a big stone house with big dinosaur legs. Yeah. <laughs> Walking around. Okay. Yeah, Blair Witch is a fantastic nomination. I think it deserves to yes. have been talked about and stuff, but yeah. I think Baba Yaga has the history behind it, which is fun. I'm on the list, baby. Yeah. Here we go. All on the list. We have Ursula, Baba Yaga, Mary Poppins, Hecate, Willow Rosenberg. That's five. We got to rank it from five to one. Let's start with number five. What are you thinking? Mary Poppins. Yeah, I'll accept that for the representation of the nice, nice switch. Okay. Yeah. Number five spot. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ursula could also be five. (laughs) I don't now think so. No way. Ursula. No way. No chance. Like, is Ursula better than the Blair Witch? No, it's yes. not. Yes. I was 100%. trying to get rid of Ursula. Why are we even arguing about, argue about Did anyone hear the song Poor Unfortunate Souls? It's so like, good. The best. It's so good. It's a great villain song. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but did maybe it? Ursula's five because two of us are like... Meh. Did Ursula give me nightmares for it, weeks straight? No. Yes. She should. Oh. Yes. She's I, frightening. I genuinely um, had that. nightmares about Ursula. I thought she lived in my childhood bathroom and would come out of the <laughs> toilet or sink or whenever Horrific. you turned water on, she would suck out of the taps. Look at her. She's incredible. Yeah. yeah she's, she's incredible. Like, But she's number five, maybe. And then Mary's uh, four. I, I would... Mm, I think she's... Uh, I could put her at four. I, would put, I, I don't think I she's... I think Mary bottom. is five. I think Mary is a great nomination, but she almost feels like we... 
Like, should we cheat it to get her on the list? You know, she is like a witch, but she's not. She's a witch. She's 100% a witch. I think you feel cheated, Tone. I would go <laughs> Ursula 4, Mary 5. <laughs> Ursula 5, Mary yeah. 4. Uh, <laughs> okay, the grudge is in us today. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, um, uh, yeah. So it's not a hell I'm willing to die on. Wait, 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 wait. Why is Ursula even, like, on the... I, I would accept her more on, like, the middle of the list. Than I was... Middle. In my head, she was <gasps> at three. three. She was three. She was three in my head. What? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I'm accepting her at four and Mary at five to definitely not... You met me with three. You were ready a, to cut uh, Baba Yaga in a second. Look at Brayden's face. He's disgusted with us. Yeah. I'm just... I'm picturing a showdown between Ursula and Mary Poppins right now. Ursula, well... On land, Mary Poppins destroys her. Ursula would just possess the body of someone. Yeah. I actually... So would Mary yeah. Poppins. We Ur- don't know what she's capable of. She's exactly. Hiding exactly. exactly. <laughs> Ursula's stronger shit. And she has if, cool magic. And you see the magic in the movie. Let's... She okay. can control life. We know... She lives in a leviathan. Ursula lives in the remains of a leviathan at the bottom of the ocean, surrounded by polyps, which are the remains of merfolk that she manipulated. And... That's do I very have, witchy. Do I have to remind you, she has two eels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mary Poppins also has control of nature, doesn't she? She's very, like, communicative with the animals and that sort of thing as yeah, well. Yeah, but she makes you take that nasty medicine. Uh, yeah. But oh, no. for does she have good. eels? I don't know about that. The but. eels braided the eels! <laughs> See, I think Mary Poppins has the mystery. She could have eels. She could have anything. She's kind of a wild card. That's true. She is a wild card. Like with bag. Ursula, you get what you get. But imagine this, okay? Yeah. Mary Poppins, something terrible happens to her. No. She becomes evil. Oh, my God. Yes, the arc. Evil Poppins. Yes. And she goes from good to evil. <gasps> Pop off Poppins. Would you not imagine Mary Poppins... As an evil witch to maybe be have you seen TM, one TM, of the TM, most TM. powerful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the horror movie remake of they? Someone made a trailer I, for for oh, Mary Poppins not, as, not as a horror movie. It's great. It probably would be amazing. I would watch I would, that I would in a heartbeat. Watch it. Mm. I mean, I would put alternate reality evil Mary Poppins above Ursula, but that's not who we're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, fair. let's look at the other the other nominations. Maybe we're looking at this wrong. Like, is Baba Yaga, Baba Hecate, Yaga, and you know. Willow? Well, those two are very good ones where yeah. where are those guys where's Baba Yaga on this list that's where I'm mm. two or three mm. three 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 <laughs> Baba Yaga is not above Willow or Hecate for me fine yeah, okay same. three I think Baba Yaga straight up middle folklore yeah let's put it right. three locked in on three all right Mary three. Poppins Ursula Baba Baba I yep. can do that. Can anybody else? I can do that. Yeah. Can anybody yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah. I can Please. commit and to that. I, I think one and two might be unanimous, and I, I don't know. Do we say it about loud on the count of three? Well, wait, what are we saying? You said I it know what I want Me for too. number one. I think I know. I think you know. I think we all know. Do we? Do, do we, we know? I think well, Brayden and I are Br- the same team. Oh, are you on a different team than me? We're going to find out mm. in, in moments. On the I next episode of Ranked, we will find out. I know who I want to be number one. I know I yeah. want to be number one. Okay. Yep. yep Actually, yep. think you know what? Should we should we, say it. That's a true no, coven that we are. No, no, no. We should say number two. Number two out loud. Okay. We should say number, number two. two out number two. Loud. Okay. Number two. Okay. Everybody. Okay. 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 Number two is three, two, one. Willow. Hecate. Hecate. It's Hecate. No, it's not. It's Hecate. I put Hecate at number one. Simone, yeah. you and I were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brandon, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and I are on the same wavelength. Yeah. What? It's Hecate number two for me. Now you could. I could be swayed because obviously I love Willow. But Willow's literally Look, praying to Hecate. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. That yeah. doesn't. Okay, that doesn't. For me, I can't even look at it. Like I don't know what Hecate looks like. But that's the point, Tony. But I don't think that's like a great like. We just spent a whole time debating about the Blair Witch and how we didn't know what she looks like and, and how haunting that was. And the yeah. Blair Witch is not on the list, as you can see. <laughs> but it was a hot <laughs> debate. It's also that thing where like Hecate is so powerful, like. There's lots of like I, folklores and religions I where agree. you can't say the name. That's you why can't it's a strong number two. them because it's so powerful. Yeah. Willow has a you full want a arc. You want a picture of Hecate? That's cool. But is she it? a queer icon? Mm. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I mean, I love Willow. It's not going to take a lot for me to tip the scales here. I'm saying Willow has a full arc that we get to see on screen and one of the best character arcs on TV in general. That's true. I, I think it is much more satisfying to celebrate an individual character than just a goddess um, yeah. who what? has it all. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> like, Hecate, obviously a witch, but she's more a goddess 
than a witch. But I think it's a like respect thing. Like all of these witches that we've named, you can probably find in some way a tie to Hecate, yep. which is where they've got their witchiness from. And I think like I remember when we were locking and everyone was like, oh, locked. Like, everyone has been riding the Hecate train until the last stop. Same, we with, get Mary off. Pop- Same with Mary Poppins. We get Mary off? Poppins was number five. But she's on the list, and that was even <laughs> hard for half of us. But half of you were like, no. Hecate was like a definite. And uh, that's why I think it's a great number two. Yeah, definite on the, in the top five. But Willow that's insane. was like a computer science nerd girl. Didn't have much going on in her life. Yeah. She discovered witchcraft. She became the world's most powerful witch. Well this. going to college. Well yeah. going to, through high school, through college. And she, experiencing death. She got an evil arc and then she yeah. gets her redemption arc. She, you know what? Gained power, learned how to control it. Hecate literally, oh, you're the daughter of Zeus. Oh, that must be so easy yeah. to control your yeah. powers. You know what, Simone? Honestly, I think if you were familiar with Willow, you might shift this way. Cause but like, that's the thing. If you're not familiar with a certain television show, then you don't feel as strong. But because yep. of the lore, like because of how powerful Hecate is, it's attached to things that even I have seen. Like that's the power of it. And it's a way more widespread, like number one witch to me but because of that. I will say you're I biased. did not hear about Hecate until tonight. Yeah. So... I don't sure how widespread. Well, get Hecate ready to be cursed. But you have yeah. a list of things that you've definitely seen who have been inspired. You I'm know sure. what? Yeah. Simone, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Please do. What is more impressive to you? A being that was born immortal and all powerful and has always existed that way? Or a being who was born mortal, learned how to become immortal and the most powerful being on the planet? But isn't part of being a witch something that you are inherently born with? I mean, she has that. I think. She was born with the gift to, like, you yeah. know, do magic, but she learned not only the power of magic, got it to a dark place, learned how to control it, and then became more powerful. Hecate, I don't, but, I'm not familiar with the legend, but maybe she didn't have the same sort of. Mm. She was just kind of handed but a that lot of people and have just that knew arc. what to do with it. A yeah. lot of people have that arc. Not the way Willow does. I'm going to go Team Willow. Just to, to cut through this. And, uh, <laughs> no, you're steaming. You're steaming. But, but here's the thing. I think Hecate is the number one witch of all time. I'm still very much on that team. But here's what I'm switching. Because we're talking about our top five. And Willow is my personal favorite witch. So if I'm going personal favorites, it is Willow Rosenberg. Because I can tell you're never going to sway. <laughs> hey, can I do... I have another analogy here. Yes, please. Okay, <laughs> so let's say Hecate is like God in the witch world. The, the, is. is that fair to say? Mm-hmm, yeah. Hecate is God. The the wick of the pagans, we pray to Hecate. So when we see, you know, like on earth, the the work, people who are inspired by God, it's the people who do the work. It's not God that does the work. In this case, it is Willow who is inspired by this God and does the work, does the things yeah. in reality. Yeah, Hecate provides the power. Provides the power, yeah. but Willow is the action <laughs> doing, and I, I'm always going to rank action over, over source. Simone's stunned right now. No, because I'm not going... I, I'm just... I'm just... I will have the number one for the people. The people... And you can all get smited. <laughs> and I'm going to lift the curse of my day. This day has been cursed for me. And I'm lifting that now by picking Hecate as my personal Ooh, number right. one. See, see. All right. My personal number That's one. That's a smart move. And but in this- the group... Number one. And I will let you all fall to your doom. <laughs> all right. And pick... And place Hecate at number two. I will say I, I am with like Brayden in the sense that I am much more impressed with the the people on the ground floor than I am with just the magical god deity, like whatever it is. It's like, yeah, you're all that you were born this way. This is just who you are. But without Hecate, they wouldn't do the work because it wouldn't exist. That's okay. Like I'm not gonna chicken egg. I don't anything. know. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm, not sure how mm-hmm. I feel about that. Well, I'm an yeah. egg, baby. <laughs> you're an egg. Yeah, <laughs> listeners, I hope you're having your own personal debate right now. <laughs> yeah, they are good. They good, are. good, good. We were really just like debating religion <laughs> versus <laughs> like. That's why I was like, I'm not going back. <laughs> like, like, I don't know if I. Mm, I don't mean that way. So. All right. All and right. At the do? end of the day, Hecate might not be real, but Willow is real. Oh my Willow. God. Willow's real. <laughs> I mean, she's so great. And You're like. get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who can throw lightning out of her hands? Willow Rosenberg. Oh, yeah. 
I'm into it. All right, here's the list. And we're all going to be very happy about it. Number five, mm-hmm. Mary Poppins. Mm-hmm. Number four, Ursula. Number three, Baba Yaga. Mm-hmm. Number two, Hecate. And number one, Willow Rosenberg. Woo! Oh. oh. I ruined it with my woo. That so cur. It was good. That cur. Cur. Poison apple. <laughs> all right. That is a very strong list of witches, I think. How about we go around and I'll have Simone. Can you list all all of your witches on your honorable mentions? Whoa, that's fast. Yeah, all of my witches on my honorable mentions. I think I'm just gonna go with one that I can remember off the top of my head and it's Cosmo and Wanda. Oh, cool, yes. Oh, you know, fairly odd, parents. fairly odd parents because anytime, like, right now behind Haley is like a pink and a pink paw print oh, and yeah. a green dish and I just keep thinking like, they're always with us, Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> and they're always with, I feel like everywhere I look, like they're so ingrained and they were so fun and it was just like a definitely are they more fairies than they are witches not that are they i mean i don't know i just call them to me they're very witchy with their power sure sure there's a debate between the fae and witches like you think of the lady of the lake from the the arthur legends people Mm -hmm. think that she's a witch she she is also described as a fairy so i can Mm -hmm. i'm fine with this i'm fine with this that's a whole conversation we we don't need to get into it (laughs) unless we get started about the fae we gotta be careful dangerous territory yeah Mm -hmm. anything else simone i mean also just shout out to every witch that was burned and oh also shout out to the witch (laughs) (laughs) give them a moment (laughs) give them a moment simone i got scared i got scared barely a pause shout out to the (laughs) the witches that were burned salem hears for one they're paused for one second (laughs) not even a second The bell witch is coming for you now. No, I put Hecate as number one. Dang it. I did it for a reason. I did it for a reason. So good. So good. Yikes. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's so bad. If it comes back to you, let us know. Oh, 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 oh. The Monty Python witch with the turnip on her nose. Yes. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. (laughs) That's good. A duck. That is good. Brayden, list them all. Yeah, you bet. I had, um, this one fits, uh, Haley's rule. Tia Dolma? Tia Dolma, sorry. She was the witch in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Oh. Brought, uh, Barbosa back from the dead. Mm-hmm. Went to the end of the world, saved Captain Jack, all that great stuff. And then also turned out to be a god, Calypso, at the end. Yeah, baby. Oh, wow. Nice. I completely uh, forgot about that part of the movie. Yeah. Oh, she's great. <laughs> that, saga. That, that saga. original trio is great, and she's an integral part of it. Mm-hmm. Um... Wicked Witch of the West, we didn't oh, yeah. mention. What the uh, heck? Even like from the musical Wicked or the later version, I think but they're both stinky. great. Ends with an A. She's stinky because yes. she can't Alphaba. shower. Alphaba. Um, yeah. I like uh, another good witch was Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, Cirque. such a good witch. She's uh, such a good witch, but she didn't. She wasn't really powerful, so I didn't put her on the list. But she's cool. very sweet. Kiki's and Delivery lovable. Service, Studio Ghibli Kiki. film. Yeah, amazing. Um, yes. And yeah, I'll just I'll do some rapid fire. Maul Dyer, who I mentioned earlier, she uh, died in Leonardtown, Maryland, and the rock that she died on is still said to cause like illness when you touch yeah, it. Yeah, has her hands and knees um, in, like imprinted into the rock. Yes. So spooky. That's really cool. That is spooky. And last but not least, did you know there's witches in the Bible? Which yes. I, I found fascinating. And mm. one of them that was really interesting was the the witch of Endor. Endor. Yeah. I won't go too, yeah. too into it, but look it up. Read cool your life. Bibles, everybody. Yeah, especially I after listening not. to this. <laughs> uh, uh, no, me neither. I'll be reading the Necronomicon. <laughs> the Book of the Dead. That's right. <laughs> Wizards oh. of Waverly Place. Sorry. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mine is just Selena Gomez, okay? Yeah, yeah, just Selena. <laughs> just there you show, go, there you go. Go ahead, Haley. I know you have a lot. All right, I do. My my first alternate that I was going to, I was so tempted to bring forward instead of the evil queen, was Kotek and Kume from The Legend of Zelda. Yes. Oh, oh yes. I would have put them top five. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> They are my favorites. I love them. The they're, twin they're Robas. Good, the twin Robas. I will also have the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. Yes. Um, she was the one that I was going to say. Uh, was, yeah. it, did you, was that what you thought I was going to say? I thought you were going to say Sabrina Spellman. Oh, yeah. Because oh, you were talking about the same that. genres of yeah. television shows. She was up there. Be, she's yes. up there. She was up there. So, Wanda. I'll also put Morgan Le Fay from the Arthurian Legends in there. Here's the rest of my list. I'll, I'll re- wander through them quickly. Jinx Monsoon. <laughs> yeah, she's totally. a, she describes herself as a witch nice. frequently yeah, on Drag yeah, Race. Yeah. Gruntilda Winky Bunyan from Banjo-Kazooie, also known as Grunty. Great name. Um, Great name. 
Marie Laveau, the voodoo witch of the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Yes, I love her. Yes, La Buffana, the Christmas witch from Italian folklore who delivers presents to kids on Epiphany Eve, Jan 5th. Grandmama Eudora Adams, who is the mother of Gomez. Mad Madam Mim, the shape-shifting witch from The Sword and the Stone. Oh, yes. Uh, that's, uh, the witch from Hansel and Gretel, who I know nothing yes. about, but is the witch that freaked me out the most as a kid. Totally. Lilith, the Salem witches. I have uh, Chapaday, <laughs> Hilda and Zelda Spellman, <laughs> the the witch from Bedknobs and Broomsticks, Aglina Eglatine Price, Stevie Nicks, though if she's a witch, yeah. that's debatable. Nancy Downs from The Craft, You Baba from Spirited Away. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Fabulous witch. And then Queen Beryl, the leader of the Dark Kingdom, the one and only most iconic villain from Sailor Moon. Yes, wow. yes, yes. I would almost, I, I had to Google it for a while. I was like, does Sailor Moon count as a witch? She doesn't, unfortunately. She's more like a... Ma- no, it's their, their, there's their a whole thing. anime yeah. class of like magical mm. girls. That's like an actual yeah. genre in anime. That's mm-hmm. a whole other thing that we won't get into. Yes. Um, um, great that's, list. Thank you. Great Queen list. Barrel, definitely a witch. All right, I'll just rapid fire ones. Let's see. Maleficent should I think Maleficent's more iconic than the evil queen, personally. But. Also, technically not a witch. She's a dark fairy. Is she? Yeah, yeah. she is. She is. <laughs> yeah. Says I did my, but Says who? The cool thing about Maleficent is, as a Disney villain, she was the only one who actually like worshipped the devil, which I thought was kind of cool. So she deserves to be a witch. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, um, go either way. Scarlet Witch was <laughs> one of like the high ranking ones, but it's just like I don't know how that would have played in this. I, you know what I mean? Like, if yeah, you brought it up, Witch. I you think you and I probably could have had a good debate about Wanda because I think she is she kicks ass, an incredibly powerful witch. If we were going just on power, she wins. Mm, she wins. Yeah, she wins. But we not did not. Powerful, most powerful. <laughs> I could say. No. She's no Willow Rosenberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sabrina, Alphaba from Wicked, the Macbeth witch. Oh, yeah, the witches, the, the weird witches, sisters, witches, yeah. the weird oh, sisters. The weird sisters. Oh, man, the Macbeth, uh, awesome. Tragedy of Macbeth, the uh, one with um, Denzel. So good. That mm-hmm. The whole yeah. witch scene is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, these they're the fates, the three sisters. Oh, yeah, so they're cool. in Hercules as well. Yes, yeah, they are. Sure. I almost Do the brought fates them up. count as witches? They're, they're witches. Yeah, the, the weird totally. sisters are based on the fates, so they are witches. Okay, I love that. Okay, then Hercules. Those ones. <laughs> I nominate those ones. Melisandra from Game of Thrones. Mm. Uh, she, the red... What do they call her? The red woman or something like that. Anyways, Marge Simpson. In any Marge of the, Simpson? Any of the Treehouse of Horror episodes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing! Typically, yeah. 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 So yeah. hilarious. Video game one, Bayonetta. Yennefer in The Witcher. Um, the White Witch in Narnia. Ooh, yes! Oh, I've Who is based totally on Lilith. That. Yeah. Yeah. And I think... Those are my witchies. Did anybody bring up like bewitched, like Elizabeth the mm-mm, twinkly, twitchy the no. nose? No, mm. she should also because be I there. used to run around as a kid like twitching my nose because of that show. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's Did a very work? important one too. I feel like yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes. I, I have not affirmed, I seen it. Affirmed. Oh, it, Bellatrix, I guess, if we're going to do one more Harry Potter one, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's I so... almost said Hermione, but then I left it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Minerva is... She's better. That's, that's a, these are honorable <laughs> mentions. <laughs> honorable <laughs> mentions. Fight, fight, oh, fight. Man. Now yeah. they're just turning into just mentions. They're not even honorable <laughs> mentions. There's no honor in my mention. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like obligatory mentions. Yeah, yeah. it's just like, now I'm just naming as many witches oh, that I can think of. Yep. All the witches. Um, do which would have witch doctors have counted for this? Uh, witch list? doctors. Yeah, because witch doctors is a whole class of yeah, it is. For witch example, things. I would say. Uh, I, I think of, I'm, I'm right now that's coming to mind is like World of Warcraft kind of stuff that nobody here would care about but like there's like yeah. trolls and stuff that are considered witch doctors and they have really like you know what I'm talking about Simone it's like, like all, it was like the alternative medicine of the 1800s like coming yeah. with the big like the yeah. big mm-hmm. what's that mask yeah the See, I didn't the want to say doctors I, yeah. it feels very yes. um, top five witch doctors yeah I don't know <laughs> it feels very tribal I guess like the witch doctor stuff there's really mm. like yeah wooden masks and lots of like feathers well, yeah. And like it's, cauldrons and yeah, very medicine. the apothecary side yeah. of witchcraft. Yeah. Even among witches, there's like pagan witches who totally. worship pagan gods, but there's also like demonic witches who worship yeah. Satan. Yeah, so it's like there's a vast cast of yeah. Witches it's it's vast cast. this whole argument is why I didn't bring up Marie Laveau at first because she's voodoo. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. See, that's yeah, closer that exactly, to that. Yeah, Dalma yeah. yeah. from yeah. Pirates of the exactly. Caribbean is yeah. also kind of in that realm. I would yeah. count her as a witch doctor, yes, honestly. Yeah. So, anyways, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> it's Willow, everyone. <laughs> yeah. It's Willow. Willow, wait. Yep, 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 yep. Simone, thank you for being on the podcast. Thank you for flying all this way <laughs> in your guacamole bowl or whatever. Uh, yes, my pleasure. <laughs> what are you up to these days? Do you have anything to plug for people at home? I will soon be putting out an EP. Oh. I will. It will be called Wavy. Okay. And it, my name will be just Simone on Spotify. You can look it up. It'll be coming out very shortly. Keep an eye it, out for wait, it. Wait, you got just Simone on Spotify as like a as a tag or as a thing? You She's betcha. a witch. How did you get that? That wasn't taken? <laughs> no, it is taken, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> just gonna I'm just gonna risk it uh-huh. and hopefully get more listens and win yeah. <laughs> and claim the name Simone. Yes. I love that. When's that coming? Soon. 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 TBD. TBD. But very soon, within the next few months. Excellent. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Oh, I miss your singing. That's ah. great. <laughs> I've, I maybe have heard yeah some from this album. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. <gasps> It's so good. You're so talented. Simone's a very good singer. Oh my everyone. goodness. Wow. This is really... Yeah, I got yeah. to go into the studio and, and hear a, a sample from your, your wonderful music production team, and it's really good. Oh, And we're about to get you. a live sample, right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Baba Yaga! <laughs> <laughs> this one's uh, called Baba Yaga. It's just called yeah. Baba. <laughs> Yaga <Dabadu. laughs> Raiden, what do you have for the people at home? I have a lot of stand-up shows in October, but uh, by the time you listen to this, that's... Oh, it would be over. It's yeah. irrelevant. Yeah. Um, How do they go, by the way, now that the show... Oh, yeah. they all went as perfect as stand-up shows always do. <laughs> um, <laughs> of course. Uh, if you want to check me out, I have a website. It's www.bradenetienne.com. And on there, I usually post poems I publish or stories I publish. And maybe comedy that I published. So just check in there and you'll see what's up. Thank you, Boudin. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's Boudin at the end. That's it. Boudin. Uh, Haley, what do you have to plug? Yeah. Well, like Brayden, a lot of my stuff is happening in October. <laughs> um, but anyways, just because October's over doesn't mean you can't go and celebrate the Guelph Comedy Festival. Check out the website. We're hoping to have more things throughout the year. But it's every October. So hmm. when you listen to this on the anniversary, of this being released, you will have just come from the Guelph Comedy Festival. And it's going to be great, and I can't wait to hear about it. But beyond that, I'm part of an improv troupe called the Flem, the the Flemmies. We've shortened it to the Flemmies <laughs> it's just, now. Oh, it's official that you're it's the Flemmies. It's official. Oh, we're, we're, we've become the Flemmies, so you can find us on Instagram at the Flemmies. Uh, not to be confused with Irma Gerd's drag troupe, <laughs> the Flem Fatales. We're also that, but now we're just the Flemmies. So check us out on Instagram. We're going to be having some monthly shows at out of fabulous Guelph venue. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. For myself, you can find the rest of the shows in the Pod Cavern at www.podcavern.com. Thank you for listening for today's spooky episode, I guess. Even though it's past mm. Halloween, doesn't matter. This group here, we just have that witchy nature inside of us that we mm. have to just share it with you guys. So with that, let's get out of here on our brooms. Well, you got a guacamole bowl. Yeah. I got a Roomba. You two, I have no idea what you're writing. Duck, I'm just going to tape <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll be here boiling a cauldron. <laughs> That's right. All right. Baba Yagadu, everyone. Baba Yagadu. That's a witch. <laughs> yes. <laughs>